change it. I think that's one of the reasons why Clinton won. You know, Clinton had this, 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 no matter what. I'll tell you, when we first had this conversation about the letters, you were right. And oh. You know, I was just playing it up, and these guys are like, what? It has a boost, you know, I mean, over 25 year old guys. Poor, poor job of organizing, poor job of um, educating, too. Oh my, opinions from both ends. You are listening to The DP Show with Dimmy and Phil. Listen, What's Bill, up? hold on. Bill, Bill was going to tell me, Bill, you were going to tell me, Bill, okay, with your smart ass, wise ass remarks before about Italians and retirement communities. Bill was going to tell me that I can, I can have the scenes, the scenes with the mic settings. See, like when I, I always, whenever I go to the intro, all the settings aren't, that's why you get the echo. And then I realize what's going on. And then I got to mute the other ones. And then when I come back to the, these scenes, I have to unmute everything before we start talking again. So what I, I want to know is how I can store the mic settings with the scenes. That would make my life just like that much easier. And by the way, there's going to be a little sheen, a little sheen coming in from the room. I'm supposed to be uh, running the sound effects, but uh, good job. Good job. Um, because I have my close-up cam. Uh, whoa, why did that? Whoa. So I got my close-up cam, so I, I can't close the door. So just letting you know. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Are you drinking? Are you yet? okay? Are you drinking? Just everything, get on your right ground. <laughs> no, there's more. There's plenty more. I know. The, I know. I know. Listen, listen. <sighs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, I I really gave a lot of thought this past week oh, about boy. the um, you know the book that we were writing, which is the rise and fall of vaping. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I think that we have a, a great opportunity to follow up with the a second chapter of the book, and that's going to be called the Phil Busardo issues, because <laughs> you know we can fill at least twenty seven chapters. Of of uh, Phil Busardo anger management uh, team uh, issues. Oh, you know? I, I don't have the book in front of me. It would be like the doctor's <laughs> book, where like one half of the book was all about vaping, and the other half of the book yeah. was all supporting the first half of the book. It'd be kind of like that. By the way, if you didn't notice, behind me, I am running at the same time right now. Bambino Fruto Trella is having a show right now, ah. and it, you know, listen, Bambino is just a really nice guy, okay, and a genuinely nice guy, and I try to support him in his YouTube channel. Uh, and, you know, I'll send him some vape stuff. I'll, I'll donate to his channel because he's just a nice guy. And uh, today, uh, I sent him the Z60 kit. He didn't know nothing about it. I just surprised him. I was like, here you go. Have a great winter and just enjoy the product. And uh, so then I thought about, I'm going to give him, he has, you know, his viewers, his the people that watch his show, um, I'm going to give you a coupon code for my website, liquidpuff.gr, and put, put Fruto Trella 20% off everything, the entire site. I'm running this whole special in November where I'm giving away like five Anakin prizes in liquid for everybody that orders, Aww. and we'll pick five winners. Aww. But I said on top of that, your viewers for 24 hours starting tonight at 10 o'clock, I give him 20% off Aww. with the coupon code, his YouTube channel. So see, I have him running in the background. Uh, while we're doing our show, he's doing his show. I figured that would be just very sweet. Frutto, frutto trella? Frutto trella. Frutto tre it sounds Italian. It's, it's not. It's not. Frutto trella. It sounds Italian to me. Yes, yes, yes. It's not? Frutto trella. Frutto trella. Frutto trella. Um, hey, uh, you know, what are you vaping uh, tonight, pal? Please so tell I have, me. I have, I have, of course, the Z60 here. I'm trying out this uh, banana... This is a tobacco with banana inside, buddy. I'm telling you what. Yeah. This is a this is a top secret uh, liquid for the noob uh, liquid line, but it's a to it's like an RY4 tobacco with a banana cream pie in it, in something new. Like I I haven't I haven't seen anybody do this, so it's really really good. I'm vaping this, and I'm not a tobacco vapor. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I have some icy cold stuff in my uh, DP show. Mm -hmm. scepter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i am uh, vaping one of the naked uh disposables as well to the apple with the one that we picked you're up vaping naked together vaping naked? yeah naked okay. vaping? i mean listen 
I, it's a good, it's a really good flavor. Uh, you know, the people that sell are shitheads because I messaged him to get the the flavoring for it and he hasn't responded to me. So whatever. Is that the one that uh, you got at the show? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Co a good flavor. You've been uh, um, you've been talking about noob an awful lot. Yes, yes. I but listen, it it, it does not match the sales of the unsalted and unsalted on ice. I will tell you that. Noob's right. done very well, but it does not compare to the number one selling flavor. Number in one the best unsalted selling. line, Please which get it is right. the watermelon peach and the watermelon peach on ice. The top two selling flavors. You need to change it. You need to change it. The, the top two selling flavors. And I, I need to hold the other one up too. Yes, Top should. two best selling flavors. By the way, uh, I don't know if you know this, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is this the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line. Excuse me for a second. Yes. Is everybody doing their shots with me? It's also the number one most stolen flavor in the unsalted line. Stolen, right? Yes. Why? In Paris. Because somebody stole your bottle in... Uh... <laughs> somebody stole my bottle in Paris. I yeah, literally, I, know, I, know. I filled up my tank. I put the bottle down. I, I, I turned around. Bottle's gone. Gone. Number yes. one most... I mean... I, I'm glad my mod didn't disappear again. I think from now on when we do... Hello, Ian. Uh, welcome. Hi, Hari Karabasidis. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, listen, I think from now on when we do shows, we need to have a security team just to For me. protect... The number one selling flavor in the unsalted line. Number one best selling. Well number one best yes. selling flavor yes. in the unsalted yes. line. We should. And per, and perhaps sure. my devices too. Yes, and your devices as well too. Yeah. Uh, right. If you're if you're playing along, listen. Every time we say unsalted, uh, the number one selling billing, uh, best selling flavor, have a drink with us. I I put my family size uh, Johnny Walker black in uh, in a uh, uh, so I won't have to get up all the time. So I'm full. Plus, you know, every Tuesday night, I don't know if I told you this. Please, I, I'm don't. sure I have. Go ahead. Every Tuesday night, me and Greg, which is my partner, friend, accountant uh, in the Liquid Puff stores, every Tuesday night at nine o'clock, we go to our local bar here, and you know we have a few drinks and we talk about business for the week and what we're going to do next. And it's it's like our time. It's like the boys' time. A couple hours, have a drink. So, again, tonight's Tuesday night, and we're doing the show midnight. It's midnight for me here. Right. Right. But at nine, I was there on my, you know, date night with Greg and I had um, I had uh, some scotches before I got here. So I'm just warning if I say anything that's going to be offensive to anybody, I don't give a shit. Yeah, but you that's pretty much say something. You. you say some offensive things uh, that, that offend people I, when you're sober, too. So it really doesn't know, matter if you're drunk or sober. <laughs> Although I will say last show, the last show we did. Yes. You were slurring. You were you were. Yes, yes, I was. I Nicely was. done. Very nice. But I was, I was drunk. I was hung over the next day. It took me the entire day to, to recover uh, from the last show. Well, I've learned uh, from the last show because uh, I, yeah. I was right there with you. I think my shots are going to be more like this size than the full glass. Yes. I think it's a smart, yes. especially that, that, since that's good. But I, mean, I am not as drinking bad as Jack, David from. So. It's 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 not as bad as David from One Shot Media, you know. No, it's not. I, and I, <laughs> I don't I don't have the photo ready to go, but uh, you did mention um, a, a device. What was the device you sent um, Fruto Lapio behind you? What was Z60, that? the Z60, the Z60, the Z60. Major awards yeah. winner, buddy. Yeah. Major, Major. awards winner. Yeah. Uh, in the vaping post, uh, we won. The best starter kit for the Z60 and the Slide Top, because that's how Very the kit exciting. comes, right? And we also won best clearomizer. When when you hear the word clearomizer, you might think of like an older device, right? Clearomizer, kind of an old term. Uh, but you, you think of it a, a clearomizer as kind of a mouth to lung replaceable coil tank, right? Not rebuildable. So the Slide Top uh, itself won best clearomizer. The Z60 and Slide Top together in the kit. One best starter kit. Uh, that is uh, Inikin. That is Platform. That is our friends at Inikin, like George. I miss him to death. And uh, yours truly, P. Basardo, and of course, Dimitri Agrafiotis. So thank you, everybody. I like how you say uh, Agrafiotis. It's very, very sexy. Uh, well, you know, uh, I say the right way. Somebody posted on my Facebook today. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, listen, some people on Facebook are just, uh, just stupid. They're just dumb. Oh, yeah. Oh, they shouldn't God. exist. Um, but somebody posted, like, Oh, there's a term I haven't heard in a while, clearomizer. 
Yeah, yeah, look, I know, you know, with the disposables and all that, it's there. But uh, let me tell you something, buddy. Uh, we have sold close to 300,000 clearomizers in France in two months. <laughs> and, so and, just and that's you just, don't sell them in the we, U.S. anymore. Clarification, clarification. That's just slide top. Just slide tops. Just slide top. Yes. Clearomizers, clearomizers we have. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you know. Um. I, I really hate uh, this week. I had a meeting with my Tennessee Smoke Free Association, Phil, and I announced I'm stepping down for this year. I'm still going to help them get through the legislative session. Um, uh, but me and Nick, uh, we're, we're stepping down from from our positions um, there. And, you know, I, I got really sad when I was having the meeting. I didn't want to make it to it like a very somber event. I, I, I obviously was the first independent state association in America to to launch. And uh, I've had, in the last 10 years, close to 235 bills that have come through my hands. Out of those 235 bills, about 37 of them have been dangerous to the industry, and I've defeated them all. And, uh, and I'm very, very proud of that. Um, but it's time to step down. It's, it's just vaping is not what it used to be in America, unfortunately. And, and I get the hybrid model. I get the people are they have to you know bring in bongs and combustible and pre rolls to stay alive or whatever. And Dil those. I get. I understand that. I, yeah, I get that. I in the Delta eights, nine, sixty nine, seventy ones, which is a sixty nine with two fingers up your ass. That's a seventy one. I get all that. I get all that. But it's just not me. I just can't do it. I can't. So I I, I step down. It's it's sad. It's sad to see what's happening in America. Um, it's it's disappointing after the hard work that we've done to to help people quit smoking. Uh, I just hope uh, the people that are taking over the TSFA now are going to be some vendors that are stepping up. Um, uh, Danny Gillis with Severe Vapor, uh, Terry with Noxo Vapor, uh, Steve Nair with Mountain Oak Vapors, um, Dave Nelson. Um, we, we have some people that are stepping up to take over. The, I hope for the sake of smokers in Tennessee, and I hope for the sake of smokers across America that that at least we have a few places like Peggy down in Florida and Nick Orlando. I, I hope we have a few places that adults that cannot quit smoking can go and find some really good help and get some really good products and some clearomizers. Clearomizers. This person, like this person thought it was like such an uh, you know, outdated dinosaur term or whatever. You know, what, you know fuck it, whatever. Um, but uh, I, I hope they're there to to carry the torch uh, for at least the, the groundwork that me and you and so many others have done in America. Well, I tell you, you know, I mean, look, Nick is doing a great job. Nick, Nick has been on top of things down here. We, you know, the free state of Florida, the free state of Florida, um, we, we still have access to to the products. Um, <laughs> and and yeah. I know Peggy, uh, Peggy really supports us, too, as a matter of fact. Yes. I could I could even push this button here and just give her a little love. Um, uh, VaporCats.com. Don't, 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 don't say the site. And, and, oh, I won't. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can't say the site. Did you block me out? Okay, maybe I'll edit it. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you know, uh, Peggy is carrying unsalted. So let me, uh, let me not yes. show that anymore. Yes, unsalted yes. at Peggy. If anybody, uh, like, if anybody's this... like, you know, oh. I can't get unsalted in America. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. How's the Z60 kit question from Billy out for clouds and DL and RDL vapors? Word, yo. We design. Bra. 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 I'm telling you, bra. that's got bra. clouds for days, bro. Clouds for days, It's going to the best cloud machine you're ever going to get. Bra. You're going to blow clouds. A fucking, it's going to look like there's mist and fog in your house. When it's you gonna, inhale, so vapor actually comes out of your nostrils, your mouth, your ears, your anus, and your pee pee hole all at the same time. Yeah. Clouds, man. <laughs> Not bad at all. That's the way, that's what twelve million. You didn't ask me what I was doing. vaping. You didn't ask me what I was vaping. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, hold on a second. Um, hold on a second. Hey, hey, Phil. Yeah. What are you vaping? Oh, well, let me vaping? tell you, uh, Dimitri, what I'm vaping today. Um, I've got uh, my my uh, my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your your crooked tip, <laughs> my crooked tip, uh, my mango pina colada. Uh, if that that Jennifer made the recipe, uh, just I still love this liquid. Um, I we I, should release it. We should release it. You think so? As is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this one right here, uh, a little blast from the past. Yeah. Um, I was uh, I was showing somebody an old video, and in the old video. Uh, five pawns was there and 
I said, you know, the, the company's been around for a long time. I said they do really, really great um, uh, flavor descriptions. And I, she, she was like, really? I said, yeah. I said, let me let me read one to you. And I read Castle, and I read uh, Castle Long Reserve. Hold on a second. Hi, I'm doing a show. I'm right in the middle of the show. You're actually on the show right now. You're on Who is the it? Show. Who is it? It's is Don. It Mom? It's Don. No, Don. Oh, hey, Don. What's up? Hey, Dimitri says hi. 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 Yeah, you're on the show right now. Oh, I love it. I didn't even talk about it on the show yet. So that's coming okay. up. Okay. All right. All right. So Very you'll excited. be on the show. Okay. I got to go. Bye. Thank, thanks for letting us know, Don. We appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> um, so I read the description to her and it was Castle Long Reserve. And she's like, wow, that sounds really good. And I'm like, smell it. And I'm like, here. And she's like, oh my God, that like makes me want to vape. I'm like, oh, you know, you don't want to vape. But uh, Castle Long Reserve right there. Uh, it was just, it, It's fun to go back to an old flavor like that and just try it and remember how good it is. It's a good flavor. Uh, and then in this, this device right here, this Z80 with the Xena 2, I have... Watermelon peach, the number one best-selling <laughs> flavor in the unsalted line. Cheers to you, my Cheers. friend. Cheers. Cheers to that. All right. So uh, <sighs> back to the question <laughs> before we got interrupted by Don. Was there a question? Uh, the Z60 kit is good for RDL, not DL. We have made the air float with a 0.3 ohm coil. It's a fantastic RDL vape. Good RDL. So if you want it, buy it and let us know. Evil, uh, Eva, Eve, Eva. Eva, Eva? Chat. Uh, I wish I had the option to leave Canada. It pisses me off that I didn't actually fail my business. The government just taxed me right out of business. It's unfortunate what happened in, in your province, uh, Eve Eva. Uh, it sucks. It sucks. I mean, it really does. I feel for you. I really do. Like, honestly, generally, because you're just a nice person and we've known you for so many years uh, and you supported us as well, too. It sucks. I wish I could do something about it. I, I wish. I think Eva Eva should just fly down here and have a drink and a vape with me. And, and uh, you know, speaking of the uh, speaking the of the Z, speaking of the Z sixty and clouds, I don't know if you know this, but um, we won major <laughs> awards. Uh, we won best major. best clearomizer, major. also known as best tank, uh, and best uh, starter kit. We won both of those major awards. Hey, hey, major, Dimitri, major. I got a secret. Hey, Don. Don I know. I saw Don on here before. Uh, yeah. Don. I, I hope she's there. I hope she's there. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? What? I have a groupie. You have a groupie? I have a groupie. It only took me it's 12 fucking years. 12 years. The groupie. Anne Marie. And who's Anne Marie? Anne Marie is Don's mother in law. Does she have all her teeth? I don't know if she has all her teeth. Because <laughs> usually, like, usually the groupies you have in vaping don't have all her teeth. All right. Well, maybe. I'm just. I'm. Listen. Sometimes they have. Sometimes show. they have falsies. You know. Come on. It's, it's, it's a DP show. We have to be honest. It's just usually has been your your mo over the years. So 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 Anne Marie watched. I think the show for the first time uh, last yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and she has a crush on me. Wow. On me. That's hot. That's hot. It, it, I'm very excited. So I asked Don if she was hot, and 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 I no, I asked Don if she was cute, and Don said yes. So I expect a Facebook. Don, I, I, Anne Marie, good up. Send me a Facebook. And can I, can I check it out first? <laughs> no, no, Don, don't don't, <laughs> don't send Dimitri first. the Facebook just, to me. Send and it to me. Send I it have to something me. very very special for Anne Marie. Uh, Carolyn, Peggy is my unsalted connection. Peggy should be everybody. Everybody's everybody unsalted. that's in America, it should be their connection to unsalted. Yes. Reach out to Peggy and get some unsalted and help me and fill out. Yes. Uh, Major should. Zero, any idea when the inner bar C1 will be available in the States? I think that George was over there in America making some deals now. We're showing that tonight. Yes. So uh, hopefully soon. I know that he made some deal with a couple of distributors there. So Major Zero, I hope it's launched soon. Uh, I just I don't I don't have an announcement to make for you tonight. Uh, Marshall Keith, we'll, uh, we've beat back every bill here in Wisconsin too. Sad thing is, even though we did all of them, unruly areas are now head shops. Yeah, yeah. I think Marshall, what it boils down to is the disposable um, market that took over, um, which we it, it, again, I, you know. If Bill Tarling would be so kind to go back and look at some of these older episodes that I called this shit, I said the disposable market is great, but what's going to happen when it's in the gas stations 
and they carry the same selection that you carry at a cheaper price, people are going to stop coming to the vape shop. And that's exactly what happened in America. The disposable has gotten into the mainstream outlet. So if I'm going to go to the gas station to get gas, beer, condoms, beef jerky, and potato chips, because that's just a fucking great night right there, I might pick up a couple of disposables. As well. I don't have to go to the vape shop anymore. Yeah. So the vape shops obviously have to transition to that hybrid shop to, you know, for the products that the other companies don't sell. Yeah, and, and uh, speaking uh, of potato chips, uh, you don't have any tonight. You're very upset about the potato chip situation in your house. Yeah, I'm very, very upset. And My also, uh, also, chips. listen, Anne Marie, I'm I'm very sorry that Dimitri interrupted our personal time together, uh, but I have <laughs> something very I have something very special for you, Anne Marie. This is for you, sweetie. This is for you. Wow, that's so creepy. Is it like, it, if, like if I had kids like around you, I would like, <laughs> I would like lock them in <laughs> some the closets. They were. Um, oh my god! You know, um, Bill said on multiple episodes. I said it. It would take a couple of days to find each. I, listen, I'm not. I'm not telling you what to do, Bill. I'm just saying I don't have the time to do it. I wish I could. I have so many. I told you so's and all these since 2012. I've been doing it. You know, some form of media and vaping since 2012. That's over. 10 years now, <laughs> it's, it's fucking 10 years, Phil. I have so many I told you so. I wish I had the time to sit back and listen to you the really library, do. But, you really um, do. You have a lot of I told you so's. You really do. Uh, Janine, uh, I'm sorry I gave special time to Anne-Marie. Janine, it's for you. You can Janine come, you can has come a hot weak tub crush too. on YouTube, people start. Unfortunately, it's doomed from the start. Yeah. It's okay. I understand. You know, unfortunately, you have a penis. Yes, a small one, uh, Phil, but you do have a penis. And it's yeah, just, well, uh, you know, it doesn't work. It doesn't work in this equation. Hey, you know, um, we do have a, uh, a special guest uh, tonight. Oh, boy. Uh, I didn't know nothing about this. We, it, it, it was in the post. If you fucking read my post, you would know about it. Uh, a Which very, one? very, a very, very special guest. Um, and uh, I interviewed the the special guest, and so we're gonna have little clips as we go along here. And okay. uh, so the the, fir the first question is, um, can vaping, right? Can vaping help you lose weight? So uh, let, let's hear from our uh, our very uh, special guest right here. <laughs> so it's a major award. It's made, hold on, hold. Let me click the fucking award. button. It's a major award. I'm also proof. That vaping does not help you lose weight. <laughs> the most important thing I'm passionate about this product is I lost my father to tobacco-related disease at the age of 39. God, my only like goal is whale. to keep this product affordable and accessible for the millions of smokers that potentially could die from tobacco-related illnesses. Wow! Wow! This, How did, where did you find that? Oh, uh, you know, we we have we have more from our uh, special guest uh, tonight. So you guys wow. uh, stick around. Stick around. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Do I have another question? Um, is, is vaping is vaping a health threat? Is vaping a health threat? Let's find out from right. our our special guest. Wow. Who is this guy? He's we're smart. Not, uh, naturally born with a cigarette in our mouth, and oh, we're naturally look at me. not born with a PV in our mouth. This is a product that contains nicotine, which is highly addictive, um, but not. Uh, a, a health threat as a lot of the governments try to make nicotine appear. That, so, see, so is vaping not a health threat, ladies and gentlemen, from our special guest. Um, what, are you trying to make me look like a fucking uh, fat <laughs> well tonight? Um, um, I, I, you know what? It, it, okay, so th this was the video that I ran into the other day that uh, that reminded yeah. me of Five Pawns, and I was like, oh, it would be it would be fun to to clip some of this stuff out. Uh, it good. also reminded me of something that we talked about just on the last show uh, with me going to a show, being asked about the hurricane over and over and over again, and me repeating the same story in front of you over and over and over again. And then it reminds me of when you used to look like that to what you look like now. And all of those people coming up to you, eh, Dimitri, you look so good. Oh, my God. You look so... I fucking had to hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Just, I smell let's... good, too, by the way. Yeah. Um, I, I wore cologne okay. for Anne-Marie. Yeah, did you? I did. <laughs> I, I, I put a couple extra squares. Anne-Marie, I hope you can smell me right now because it's um, it's breathtaking. It really um, is. But listen, in all honesty, like these clips are literally like eight years old and it holds true today. What I was saying back then, even though back then I was attacked by people, you know, whatever, you know, it was just, you know, you know what I've been through. But 
the the points that I were trying to make back then in in a way that people can understand it are still valid today. Whether I was, you know, 300 pounds or if I'm 200 pounds, doesn't make any difference. It's t- the point again that we're trying to make. I'm glad that you brought up. I, this caught me by surprise, but I didn't know that Phil was going to do this tonight. Um, but if you don't look at me and just listen to me, <laughs> the, po- the point is 100 percent, 110 percent valid. There were a couple of a couple of these clips that I was like, oh that that is just as true. What he said is just as true today as it was back then, right? Yeah. Like, uh, for example, like, you know, what goes with a cigarette? It just went hand in hand. Coffee, cigarette, whiskey, cigarette. Hey, you have the coffee, cigarette, <laughs> whiskey, cigarette. There you go. Speaking of, uh, and, and now, whiskey and vape. Whiskey and vape. Coffee and vape, right? Yes. yes. You know, for example, yes. like, you know, uh, having a whiskey with uh, watermelon peach, the number one yes. best-selling flavor oh my in God, the yes. unsalted line. Dimitri? Cheers. Mm. Mm. Don't forget to tune into uh, Scott's show after this show. Yes, ST, ST Vapes. ST Vapes. We love him. Scott, uh, thank you very, 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 very much for uh, checking in on me so many times yes. uh, during the hurricane. Very, very Speaking of which, my lanai is fixed now. Wow, everything's done. Come it, to Greece. Uh, well, okay. not yet. The um, the <laughs> the ceiling uh, on the lanai needs to get painted and repaired, uh, and I got to get changed the two ceiling fans, and then I am officially done. However, right. however, Nicole, Nicole, if you blow my screens out, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Nicole, stay the fuck away. We have uh, oh, we have another. There's another hurricane coming. We have Nicole coming in. Uh, she is currently a tropic, tropical storm. She's uh, it, it estimated to hit Florida as a C uh, as a uh, C one, um, and that's going to be like Thursday of this week. The thing is, she's coming in on the east side, right? So it looks like she's going to hit, and then she's going to go up central Florida. But, but, but man, I tell you what, <laughs> it, you know, it's it's regardless, it's bad for this area, right? Because you would not believe how many tarps are on people's roofs right now, yeah. right? I can't, I can't believe it. I can believe it. It's it's just it's horrible, right? And you know, thank God, I'm mostly done at this point. Although it's a little windy today, and I see a big piece of flashing on on yeah. my, that needs to yeah, be yeah, repaired. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm I'm hoping it it, it just it hits. And it dies down right away, goes back to a tropical storm, and doesn't do any damage. But um, you know, talk about insult to uh, to injury, man. Just not a, not a good time. But listen, um, um, yeah, go ahead. You're safe. You're safe. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what matters. What matters is you're safe. And I'm I safe. will be in the states. I will be in the states Monday. Okay. This week mm-hmm. for for a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I get when I come back, I want you to come to Greece and just spend a week with me. That's what I want. I want you to come after you finish everything with the house and everything is safe, and Reg is okay. I want you to come spend a week with me. Do I have to deliver Greece. shit? Uh, maybe, but you like that. I mean, you enjoy that. Do I have to box uh, stuff it's the up? Number one selling uh, flavor in the unsalted line, oh, which is shit. watermelon peach. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm supposed <laughs> to drink with you. <laughs> you like you like delivering it. Yeah. Um. I do. I really do. Uh, yeah, j- just putting the bottles in a box and and then yes. you know you you let me like actually autograph the box and put little hearts yeah. on it. Yeah, that, that that means a lot. It really does. I, yeah, I think I think you know we've talked about this in the past on our past shows that we get a, a, a real thrill. We get um, a good feeling when we see people using our products, and that's not only you know that's not only the hardware products, right? But that's but yeah. that's our 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 software uh, products as yes. well, right? Yeah, listen, the other day I was out with, uh, uh, I, I took Maria down to uh, to a doctor's appointment and li- we're in the car, literally just sitting at the traffic light. And right next to me, I turn around, there's this lady about six years old. She has an adept and this light tank. And she's just vaping in the car. And I turned to Maria and I was like, look, and she, you know, of course, you know, she's like, tell her, tell her it's yours. You know, of course, I'm not going to do that. But. It's such a great feeling because it happens so much to me here, you know. And I, 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 I'm sad for you that you don't get the experience. Yeah. You, when you come to the shows, you see it. But I see it. Yeah. I get to live it like every day. I go to coffee shops. I go to bars. I go to clubs. I go to nightclubs. 
and I see our products out there in the wild, it's such a great feeling. It really, it really is. is. It, it, it really, truly, truly, truly is. And a great if she feeling. was like a really hot chick, but not a sixty-year-old lady, I probably would have. Hey, baby, you know what you're putting in your mouth over there? You know, that's oh my uh, goodness, me and Phil, Dimitri. But um, on a serious note, it really is. Uh, it really is. Um, it's, it's, Absolutely. it's a great feeling. You know, yeah. like, I want to ask our special guest, um, what, what do you think about uh, regulations and will regulations hurt vaping? The reason why this product has been so powerful, so successful, is because there is no regulation. So the innovation happens every week. There's a new product out. The big corporations, they can't compete with this product. And usually when big corporations can't compete, they eliminate. That is so true. <laughs> You know what's funny? Go ahead. My buttons on that shirt are look like <laughs> they look like if they're about to pop and hit the director and the producer of this film. They could right in the fucking eyes. <laughs> the, this one right here. <laughs> this one is dangerously close. Th this is the most frightening one that right one, there. That one right there. That's the scariest that one, one right there. It's like it's fucking. It's it's on the edge. It, it really I, I'm afraid that like it could break my monitor. It could. <laughs> Um, and, and you know, oh, shit. I, it, D, it doesn't matter how you looked. I loved you no matter how you were. Uh, thank you, buddy. I, I love you too. All I, right. I've t I tell you the same thing all the time. All right. Um, you know, this is the, um, the election show. So we need to get political here for a second. Is that okay? Oh boy. I'm ready. All right. Let, let me, uh, let me close a couple of these things. Let me pull something else up here. We got to look at something uh, very important and very political. And by the way, uh, this very important and uh, very political thing that we are going to put up on the screen comes along with a contest. Okay? Uh, yeah, it comes along with a contest. So let's take a look at this right here. And uh, it's labeled PFPWTHSW. Wow. Yeah, I know. A lot. So what we need is a better name for this PowerPoint presentation that I have put together okay. for you. Okay? And what this stands for is... Political figures Phil wants to have sex with. Okay. Wow. But yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, this is looking great. Yes, that's what it stands. So we obviously need a better name uh, for this uh, PowerPoint. Oh, that is fucking great. Okay. Great. Again, it is uh, political figures Phil wants to have sex. With. I did not know nothing about this, folks. I'm telling you, this no. is the greatest thing. A lot of stuff. A lot right of stuff here. going on uh, here tonight. Yes. That Dimitri. Does. So we already know uh, Christy Nome. Right. Okay. Okay. So Christy Nome is on this list. Okay. The uh, the uh, political figures Phil wants to have sex with the list. Right. <laughs> this is the best election show ever. Yes. Um. And of course, uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. AOC. Uh, AOC. AOC. Uh, again, another one of the uh, political figures Phil wants to have sex with. Right? I would smash. So uh, hard. We discovered uh, just on the last show, um, Carrie Lake looking very very fine <laughs> right there. Look at that! Look Not at that thing. outfit, right? Not my thing. Not my thing. Another one of the political figures. Uh, political figures. Phil wants to have sex with. Can yeah. anybody guess in the chat who is the next one on the list? It Can has we... to be Trump. It has to be a, 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 a it, Trump no, no. But, okay, would you? Would you? Do you think? Oh, hold on a second. Uh, do you think that uh, Ivanka is is considered a political figure? It, because she was a political consultant in the White House for her father, uh -huh. <laughs> I would consider her a political figure. Okay. I mean, I would have to consider some. She's in politics, whether we want to, we like it, or we agree with okay. her. That right. she she consulted the president. Right. And by the way, uh, th th this list has nothing. It's totally bipartisan. Right. Has nothing to yeah, do with oh, their yeah, yeah. beliefs 100%. or their feelings or their political views. Has nothing. To, hold on, I need, I need to find the switch here. Listen, I don't, don't care what you vote now. for. It's about who you smash. That's what it, that's what it boils down to. Maybe yeah. that. Maybe that's the name of this PowerPoint. Who you'd smash, right? Maybe. But America again, would be maybe America would be in a better place if everybody voted like this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, you know, I totally agree. I totally box. agree. Uh, so. Again, this contest, uh, you have to find a better name for this PowerPoint. And to enter the contest, in the comments for this video on YouTube, rename, rename. That's a great contest. Okay, rename this PowerPoint, okay? And again, the PowerPoint currently called the PFPWTHSW, the political figures Phil wants to have sex with. It needs a better name, okay? 
Who is oh the next? God. Who is the next one? Wow. You know, I, don't this, know, I, don't, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm this is who we have here. By the way, um, Dimitri. Listen, by listen. The, yeah. yeah. Can, can I, can I just, uh, so far from the list. Yeah. So far. Yeah, go ahead. From the list. Yeah. I mean, AOC. I would yeah. I would do things to her yes. that would be illegal in 52 countries. Yeah, 100%. well, you know what she says though. She says that uh, that Republicans don't like her because we can't we can't be we can't date her. I, I, I don't care. I'm an independent. No, I, exactly <laughs> right. Like, I, this is not to me. This is not about Republican or 100%, Democrat. Yes, absolutely not. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. This is so exciting. I had, no, I had folks. I had no idea this was going to happen. This is such a great segment. I am so excited to be. Good. I'm, I'm so. Okay. I'm happy that you that Good. you're happy. Okay. Yes. Now you know. Oh, by the way, uh, all of these political figures. Obviously, it is very important for them to to get votes and and to to maintain their their positions and everything. But I yes. think. Yes. I think. I think it is. It is far more important for them. Uh, to find themselves on this list. I mean, this is really what you're, this is really what you, your, your political aspirations, you you want to find dude, yourself on this list, dude, right? I would go, this is if huge. You're going to go to college for eight years and, this is and huge. then intern, you should be on this list. If you're not on this list, yeah. really, are you anything in this life? It, it, really? It, it, Just give nothing. up, go work at Starbucks. Nothing. Ask them, you know, you want venti, you know, whatever, you know, this, this is what I would do. No. If I'm not on this list, I'm done. I'm done in politics. I would retire. Um, Eva Eva put Nancy Pelosi down. Nancy Pelosi might show up on this list April first, but that would pretty much be the only time. Definitely not. I would not do Nancy Pelosi with your dick. I can't. This has to be (laughs) this. And and by the way, again, political figures. Okay, so I would say that Ivanka Trump would fall into a political figure. There could be other people that just other than just people that get votes. Get votes yes. on this yes, list. Yes, yes. They're right? political. Uh, but, but, but let me let, quickly, quickly, yes, quickly please. The comments, the comments, the comments. Please, okay. Uh, I have no idea who any of these ladies are, says Kenny. Great. We're not judging you if you know them or not. We're judging you if you would smash or not. This is the whole point of the thing. Bruni. <laughs> what's up, Bruni? Demi's to-do list. <laughs> I will tell you. Don't worry. Let me let the film finish over there. I have my, I have my, my, uh, I have my Glock. Cotton Bruni, ready. Bruni, ready this is not Bruni. This is Phil's to do list. Right. <laughs> How dare Piggy you? Spread. Piggy, oh my God, Major Zero. You might have won the contest already. <laughs> well, what, what is it? P spread? PB spread? PB spread. I like that. Yeah, I, I would like... go with vape, vote, suck. That's what, that's what I would go with. If I, if, I was, if I was participating. Anyway, go ahead. Vape, vote, VVF, like 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 Matt did, like suck, suck my mod, vape, vote, suck. You know. Okay. Anyway, it's, it's, so again, by the way, I can't wait for the list. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm not just attracted to power. I'm attracted to pretty much everything. Um, remember, remember how you can win this contest. By the way, what is up for grabs? Um, I'll give, I'll throw in a Z60 kit. Yes. And I'll throw in a a, a DP scepter too. How about that? That's me a good too, prize. If it's me too, if it's in Europe, I'll take care of a DP scepter and a Z6 as well too. Four the, prizes. That, four. Oh, that's okay. Four. four prizes. That that's good. Two that's US, good. two Europe. Well, one US, one Europe is what you mean. I'm gonna put yes. both of those prizes together. Great. I'm down. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So again, to enter this contest, you go to the comment section of this video and you rename my PowerPoint, which is currently called the uh, the PFP W T H S W the <laughs> political figures name. Phil wants to have sex with okay yes and that's, that's drum roll name. drum roll please uh, nobody got it the latest person on this list oh my God Tudor Dixon who's that who is that ah oh, she, she's somebody that? she's somebody she's she's running Give me for some, something some background on it because you know I'd, I'd smash uh, uh hold on I would ha- I gotta look it up man you have like, any other pictures of her can you put uh, some other pictures well yeah they right there there you go oh my god yeah she's cute like, right where, cute. Where, 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 hold, where, hold on you're asking me, you're me, asking me, me very many questions hold yeah, on I'm, I'm gonna to I'm, I'm gonna pull her up I'm, to, I'm, get I'm some background I'm pulling I'm pulling her up Tudor, okay, okay. Uh, she's. Uh, I know she's. Kenny running. would smash 100. percent By the way, he said. Son of Liberty says, uh, "What's up? <laughs> What's up, Patrick? Phil would let Pelosi peg him with a hammer." <laughs> 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 you might be right. By the way, so, so. that's kind of funny. 
Um, she's running. Funny. She's running for the Michigan governor's race. So it's uh, Gretchen Whitner versus Tudor Dixon. That I, I listen. I, Gretchen is a whore. Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh my bitch. goodness. Yeah, oh she's, my goodness. She's horrible. She tried to ban vaping many times in Michigan, and of course for that I don't like her. But she's also just a bad person. She's just a horrible person. I this Dixon, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm sending money right. Can I can I donate to her? Sure, you can. Right uh, yeah, th this is her website right here, Tudor Dixon. Family friendly. I'm, I'm not too big fan. Look 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 how cute Any she other is. Pictures. Is she not cute? Yeah, I, I, all right, hold on. I'll I'll pull up the whole. Can you not, hold on. Hot pictures of Tudor Dixon. Hot you know what's pictures. funny is yeah. when I was putting the the slideshow together, <laughs> I looked up Tudor Dixon and then I looked up Tudor Dixon sexy and then I looked up Tudor Dixon hot, trying to find like better pictures. But uh, Tudor uh, Dixon. Uh, and, oh my God! The guys from the UK are in uh, the F uh, V uh, vape show are here. Uh, Mike and. Um, Look! Look! Oh my God! She's a cutie, what man. Are you, what are you doing up at this? This like these guys are like vaginas. What What are you doing up this late? <laughs> <laughs> you should be sleeping at eleven. You vape three milligrams. Look! You see? You see? Tell me she's I'd not smash. cute. I would smash. Right? I would smash. Very very cute. Very very cute. So. Uh, if we, to, but th listen, the, the name is a little bit off putting on me. See, I don't think so. I think the name is very very cool. Go back, go back, go back. So listen, listen. listen. What? Can you imagine, Phil? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're in bed. And you're, you know, foreplaying and kissing. Like, uh, a, uh, I am going to rock your world tonight, two-door. <laughs> you know I mean? It sounds like it's a Harry Potter novel. You know what I'm saying? No, because I'm the thinking... Name, the name is just not doing it for me, the two door. You no, know because I'm know? thinking, I'm thinking, hey, baby, you want me to fill... Yes, of course. You, you want, no, no, no. Hold on, sh please. Hold on, please. You want me to fill one door or two door? Thank <laughs> Well, you get. <laughs> to be fair, you can only do one door at a time. Uh, well, you know that's what that's what they make toys for. You know, absolutely. <laughs> but, but uh, oh my god, that's funny. There you go. Okay. There you go. Listen, listen, I will tell you one thing. You have uh, you have assembled a very good list. Thank here. you, thank you. Uh, for me, AOC, of course, is on the top of the list. AOC, okay, go uh, ahead. Because I do, I, I can speak a little bit of Spanish as well, too. I think it would be very, very hot. Yeah, okay. Um, so AOC is number one for you. For oh, me, so yeah. wait a second. Wait, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Let's rank them. You rank them, and then I'll rank them. Okay. Most to least. Okay. Okay. I, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So, so first, you want to go first? Of course. You want to go first? Oh, mom. Is oh this my, not the best first. election show? This, but I'm this, going, I'm going first. I'm going. There, first. There's, I'm there's, you, you are not so going to find a better election show, ladies and gentlemen, than this one right here. Okay. I am so <laughs> all ready right. For this all right. So wait, wait. So you know ready. what? Hold on a second. We need to. Uh, I need to do that. Uh, watermelon peach, the number yes. one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line. I'll drink okay. to that. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Let me get another one ready, just in case. And now of we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go to the ratings. The Mountain, her pictures don't do her justice, says Marshall Keith. Oh wow! We're going to go to the uh, the ratings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dimitri first. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. Ready. All right, go ahead. So we know AOC is number one for oh, you. Oh, listen, uh, listen. Hey, mamacita, Oi, papi. Oh, like, if she oh. says papi, I'm done. I'm done. Muy I'm bien, done. Like, muy bien, bien, papi. Oh, hundred percent, a hundred percent. Oh, yo tengo mamacita. un libro y un perro. Okay. We uh, amore grande for uh, AOC. You, 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 thing, you, 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 okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Number, number one two for Dimitri. Have to be. You know, I'm Greek, so I'm going for the two doors. You know, I mean, this is. Just, oh, this is really? Thing, you know? Wow. Yes, the 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 yes, new one yes. gets number two. All right. Yes, get get yes. this for two the door, two door. It's a Greek thing. <laughs> I will teach her Greek uh, once I go into the second door. Uh, she's cute, three, right? She's really yes. cute. Go ahead. But she's cute. She's cute. Yeah. Number three, I would have to go with uh, Christy. Yeah, I figured that. I, I know you're not a huge yeah. fan of Carrie. I'm not. Right? I'm not. I'm not. Christy, uh, again, Christy is not my type. It's just, it's just not that thing. But in this list, I would put her on number three. And number four, of course, I'd put, you know, uh, Carrie, which you know, I think Carrie eats more pussy than you and me combined, to be honest. No, God, please. Like, she's just, married. Just, she's got just, kids. Just, Come just, on. Listen. Okay. Listen. There's a lot of people that have kids, Phil. Yeah. Uh, I, I have nothing. You know me. I have a lot of friends that are gay, trans, lesbians. Um, but I think that Carrie has probably eaten more pussy in her lifetime than me and you combined. 
Listen, I know uh, somebody is going to get a hold of Carrie Lake, and she's going to come watch this video. So uh, I just hundred <laughs> percent. I just Carrie, I want to I want to apologize for Dimitri. Uh, Please, he says sometimes he says you know offensive <laughs> things. So all right, so let me. Um, you know, I got to think about this for a little bit. This is a uh, hard decision. And I just want you to know, as I, I do this. I can't wait to hear your thought process on this. By the way, this is a really yeah. funny comment. Okay. <laughs> this, and it comes from Janine. <laughs> Erection well. 2022. Not election. Erection 2022. Oh, you know what? That's really, that. you know what? That's a really good name, but this is going to be an ongoing thing, right? Edit, edit the, edit the video title and make it Erection 2022. Okay, like that will, that's a clickbait <laughs> title that will get us millions of views. I love it. I love. It. Okay, rich. we're gonna be rich YouTubers and we're gonna be like vaping with Vic. We're like we're gonna be like huge, like very big in our mom's, you know, circle. Go ahead, R- Richard. I hear you, Richard kid. I hear you. But this is this has been a build up. This has been one at a time, yes. right? So yes, yes. if you know if if she's gonna wind up on the next one, you got to come watch the yes. next show. That's right. right? That's right. You got to come watch the next. Okay. Right. So let me go over here. This is tough. I can't wait I, to hear your thought process I, on this. I, I cannot wait. I didn't I'm think so about ranking them. I didn't think about ranking them. Um, I, 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 there's something about Christy Gnome. <laughs> there's just I knew it. I knew it. There's knew something it. there's something about her. She I, there's something Mommy issues. Mommy issues. That's it, what it is. It's I, mommy it, issues. Maybe. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna have to go Christy Gnome first. Wow, right? that yeah. is a fucking, you know, just curveball. Like, it it, it is just a, came out of nowhere. It is a curveball. And it, 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 I'm telling you, there's something there's something about her. I don't know what it is. I find I find her extremely attractive. Um, so I'm gonna have to go Christy Gnome first, uh, and you know, wow. uh, again, I'm sure this is gonna get back to Christy. So uh, when she comes here and watches the video, I just want to personally say uh, hi to Christy. A little, little, oh my God, that's for you. <laughs> and Anne Marie, I just want you to know I haven't I haven't forgotten about you, Anne Marie. You're still in my thoughts. Okay, breaking news. Uh, so- Christy just uh, hung herself. <laughs> <laughs> While on tour, for all right. Her so, campaign. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, now, now, for number two, I'm a little toss up between AOC and Tudor. Okay. I okay. think. Ooh, wow! It's, ooh, ooh, that's it's tough one. so tough one. hard. I, I mean, it would be hard. <laughs> that's it would what be. She said. It would be. Um, shit. I. You know what? I think I'm going to have to go AOC. I yeah. think. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think AOC. Yeah. I would, I would, and uh, you know, whereas Christy and Carrie and and Tudor, they would they would see this video and they would come and they would appreciate it and they would thank yes. me. Um, AOC is going to try to get me thrown off YouTube. So, but I, but still, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. You're number two, so. AOC. You're number two. A little for you, AOC, uh, and then uh, Tudor, Tudor, of course, yeah, and then uh, and then Carrie Lake. You know, of 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 all the these women, I can see Carrie Lake being president. I can see her being very very presidential. Um, you know she, what she reminds me of? She, you know, I'm a Joker. big House of Cards. No, I'm a big House of Cards fan. You know the show that's on Netflix, huge. Before they canceled, you know, of course the the main star of the show. But uh, I I just I love that she, she reminds me of the character that plays the wife of um, the president on the House of Cards and. It, it's it, it's not the short hair. It really is not. I actually like short hair in a woman if it matches the feminine side of a woman. I don't know if I if I'm, I'm if, I don't know if you understand me what I'm trying to say, Phil. I love 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 short hair on a woman if it matches a really feminine sexual side of that woman. In this case, I don't think that the short hair is good for her it just it 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 does it makes it it less feminine for me in her okay the outline of her face and the way that it looks you know i've really you know i've really i mean you know me you know i I have a psychology behind everything whatever attracts me or what doesn't attract me and in this case it doesn't work for me it does not okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry we are uh we are now going to play another game yes we are going to play F, Mary, Kill. Yes. And Side. 
Okay. And side. And side. Okay. So. So side is side check. Yeah. So F is yes. a one time. A one time only. One time only. Wow. Marry is marry all you want. Yes. Side is you can continue. Yes. And kill is kill. It's easy for me. I think I'm I already won. I know. Okay. This game. I'm F done. F I'm marry ready. kill and side. I'm ready. All right, Dimitri. F. F. Two door. Two door. One hundred percent. Once to okay, just once. One okay. Time, one time. F. One time. Two doors. I'm done. Okay. Yes. Marry. Uh, AOC. AOC, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. F yes. Side. Christy. Yeah, and kill. Yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, uh, Carrie. Sorry. I'm sorry, Carrie. Carrie, we're Carrie, sorry. I'm sorry. I really we're sorry. I feel so bad saying this. Okay. But I'm sorry, but yeah, this this was easy for me. That was the easiest game I've ever played in my life. Okay. Uh, I, I'm I I'm gonna be a little different here. Well, okay. maybe not. Okay, so F. F is a one-time shot, right? One-time shot. That's why. That's why I put two door. F is AOC for me. Wow, really? Mary is Christy. Um, side is Tudor. Yeah. And uh, K- Carrie, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Carrie. Carrie. Carrie's- <laughs> but but you're still just- you're still on the political figures Phil wants to have sex with list. I mean, you know. Yes. Yes. That's a yes. big accomplishment. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's, that's, that's a huge. A I huge think accomplishment. All these ladies in this election should be using this as a tool to promote people to vote for them. It's it's unfortunate that that this video is coming out on the eve of the election because they could yes, have used this as a political tool. Yeah. This this is what my uh, political campaign would start off with. Uh, hi folks. Um, I want to lower taxes, I want to build bridges, I want to uh, raise education in our schools and I also want to be on the f- list of uh, Phil wants to have a p- people that feel P- political figures, please. With. Political, political figure. figures. <laughs> Phil wants to have sex with. Yes. And uh, I'm very, very proud to be here and uh, announcing my campaign. And I want you to vote for me. This, this, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. I'm not telling these ladies what to do, but if you want to listen to me, this is what I would do. I, I you know, I would, I would have to agree. I would have to agree. I think, I think this could be uh, a huge huge uh you know it's just like i said it's just unfortunate that the timing of this video is um you know it's just yes. larry says nothing like listening to old two old men wishing they were 20 again oh boy larry if only you knew buddy if only you knew, well, wait buddy. a second I how old can't. is carrie Let, oh, let's get the ages of these women shall we let's do it let's do it all right hold on a second this is uh, again me, yeah age is irrelevant but quite uh, possibly yeah, right. the uh best election coverage uh that you're gonna get anywhere right here on the DP show. On the eve of the erection. The eve of the erection. Okay, so... Uh, um, <laughs> Kenny says, guys are about to be swatted on stream. <laughs> 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 All right. That would make such good video. All right, so how old is Carrie Lake? Let's see, find out. All right, so Carrie Lake is... <gasps> what? She's exactly my age. She's 53 Is years it, old. I, I, bought, I fucking nailed it. I, I nailed it. She's I knew, 53 I knew she was years good. old. Okay. Wow. AOC, is. Cool, she's cool. got to be like 16, 17. No, AOC? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say 33. 33. Yeah. She's okay. 33? So she's 33. Wow. She's 33. Okay. I'm so good. All I'm right. So, good. so um, oh. all right. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm typing in the tell wrong me, Tell me, tell me. I'll tell you. All right. Christy. Uh, no. 37. You think 37? Yeah. Way wrong. Wow, that girl really? looks good for her age. 50. 50? 50. Wow. See that? Like, okay. she's the perfect age for me. I didn't see a lot of pictures. For me or for you? No, for me. Yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah, for, for me. That's, for a, me. Good, that's yeah, a great go age for me. Yeah. And um, Tudor, what do you think? Uh, Tudor, uh, bring your picture back up if you don't mind. Can you bring it real quick? Yeah, hold on. You got me. I'm doing a lot of stuff here. Hold on. I know, I know, I know you are. I know you are. All right. Uh, just one more time. Just okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. I, I did. I pushed the wrong thing. Don't do, don't do anything bad yet. All right, hold on. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tudor, 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 Tudor. All right, here you go. What do you think? I'm going to say 36. 36? Yeah. Again, way wrong. She can't be that old. What? What the fuck is this? Who is the guy? Stormtrooper. Forty-five. 
She looks good. She looks 45. 45. Looks, she looks real good, right? Too old all for me again. I tell you what, all these women uh, look yes. really, really good. Really good. Mm. Okay, mm. so again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the current slide, if I click that right here, the contest to win your very own custom uh, DP uh, Scepter 2 and and a cool fire z60 and slide top kit what you have to do is go to the comment section of this video once it's uh, posted and rename this powerpoint powerpoint currently called the pfp wthsw which is the political figures phil wants to have sex Great. with Great. uh give it a good name give it a good name and uh somebody's gonna win some uh, nice prizes okay pretty good very very excited i'm a uh, five dollar super chat from patrick phil check out tina forte on youtube you will put her on your list she's running against the aoc seriously check her youtube out hmm tina, tina forte? forte let's just go ahead and just bring her up we'll right check now. her tina out maybe forte. you know but the, the problem is she's running against the aoc doesn't she matter be hot it doesn't matter she better be hot she better be hot i mean she yeah i am for dimitri she better be hot let's see yes yes Oh, I know Tina Forte. We were just uh, Larry, Larry, and uh, we were just talking about Tina Forte. Oh, you know what? Larry, Larry this sucks. Larry this, was just making fun of us for talking about these like. Listen, like Sons of Liberty Radio, how dare you? How dare you? Because she was gonna be on the list. You know what I love about her is the voice. Oh, the voice is so because she's uh, she's Staten Island, right? And she is she is thick. Thick, thick, thick Staten Island. Oh my God, the, Larry. We were just talking about her. Um, no, no. It, this, we, no, 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 completely for me. No, 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 look, 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 yeah, I'm, oh man, nah, nah, she, she's a contender. She's definitely a contender. Not for me, I'm sorry. I mean, she wouldn't get on my, she might get on your list. Right? No. Hey, by the way, this is the political figures Phil That's wants to have sex with. She might okay? get on your list. Get your own goddamn she would list. Never be on this my is, list. This I'm is sorry, my stuff right Tina here. Forte, you would never See? Make the Look, Larry list. says you mentioned her the other day, Phil. There you go. See? We were just talking about her. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. See, but you like, now if she winds up on the you list. Fro you're frozen for me. Are you frozen? Okay, now you're good. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it sucks because if she winds up on the list, you you kind of blew my uh, my, my. Steve <laughs> Steve says she reminds me of Martina Navratilova. I have to pass. I agree with you, Steve. I agree. You think so, Steve? Steve Steve Mal and me, you know, we're on the same page. I agree. Let me see if I can find another good picture of her. Uh, uh, Steve Mal says pass. Uh, <laughs> AJ and uh, Pete are like. Uh, being on this yet to be officially titled list is a huge CV booster. <laughs> look, 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 look at this oh, picture right God. here. Listen, hey, hey Phil, can you, uh, can you uh, look at her there? No, I no. don't know, man. Don't oh, know. There's nothing for me. There's right. nothing arousing about her. Doesn't have to. It doesn't have to I'd arouse rather look you. At you. I'd it, rather look at you. You arouse me more than Tina Forte. Listen, I'm I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. I, I, <laughs> I'm just because saying. I I know your your um. Oh look at this. What's up, John? Oh, look, she's got a tat, man. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull this up bigger. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. What happened? All right, hold on. Look. Just look, be look. careful when you're making this transition. I know, no, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. Look right there. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, nothing. nothing All right. for me. No, nothing. All right. nothing for me. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What's up, John Ducali? Nice to see you, buddy. Um, listen, I think that we have really, uh, a groundbreaking opportunity here to help candidates <laughs> that are looking to, uh, um, just make a stand in the U S elections. Uh, if any potential woman that wants to come on the show and promote her campaign mm. and is fuckable. Listen, I'm, I'm more than than happy to meet what, meet up with them and give a private interview, and then see if they meet the qualifications to you know. And again, complete. By the way, if anybody like if anybody has legitimate political questions, because this is the election show, if anybody has legitimate political questions for me and Dimitri on like where we stand on any yes. of the topics or issues, you know, we're drinking. We'll let it all hang out. 
Yes. It is, right? I mean, FV uh, Vape Show, it, it's a huge public service, uh, what we're doing right now. I think we're huge. doing a very, I think we're doing God's work. Well, yeah. I was I was just going to say God's work. I was just going to say God's work. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Um, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we're doing, I, I think we're I doing really good things. Political and, is? and by the way, again, again, totally bipartisan. If you if yes. you're if you're Democrat, you want to come on the show. If you're Republican, you want to come on the show. If you're independent, I don't care. You have okay? to be hot. Just as long you have to be hot. as you are a political figure Phil wants to have sex with, come on the show. Okay. And you have to be hot. That's the only qualification. You have to be fuckable. You know? Yeah. Like Tina Forte, don't even bother messaging me. I mean, it's just you're just not gonna make it. Tina, you know? Tina, Tina, listen. Tina, I have been running the show. I have the power. I push buttons here now. Oh, my. Uh -huh. Opinions from both ends. You are listening to the DP Show. That's right. With Dimmy and Phil. I push the button. So, Tina, you want to come on? I got gotcha. you. By All the right. way, Tina, I would, lo I would face, love... But, but, but Tina, she's not going to come on the show. I would love <laughs> to hear Tina um, with me say... Oh, my. That's it. Just the oh, my part. That's, I would love to hear her say that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, All right. <laughs> Okay. Um, so wait, I, I have I have a political I, I question. See what my political question is. I I have a political question. The one came in. Okay. Go ahead. Um, are you more to the left or the right, Phil? I would say I'm um, right of center, uh, because you could ask me some questions yeah. and I'm going to sound I'm going to sound left, and you could ask me some questions and I'm going to sound right. So I would say I'm right of center. Yeah. Okay. What do you, what was your question? I, I, I'm, 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 you know, I, I'm not, I'm bipartisan. I, I vote with my heart. I don't vote a straight ticket, but I, I will tell you what I'm tired of, Phil. And, and one of the things that I've been happy, you know, being in Europe and working, uh, you know, wait a second, before you say this, before, before you get serious, cause I feel like there's something serious coming up. I just want to point out that, um, I don't know if you know this, but watermelon peach is the number one best selling flavor in the yes. unsalted line and you should which, you should which, get yourself which by the way you should get yeah you, you should get yourself some like right now as a matter of fact if you dash if you want EU. it dash vapes eu if you're you know if you're overseas if you're in the states uh you know and peggy's gonna cats. take care of you up in canada dash vapes again will take care of you right but if you if you'd like guys if you want um we can pause the show while you order if you want to do that Yes, we're gonna do yeah. that. 100%. You want to just stop for like Cheers. half an hour? Okay. No, 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 no. Cheers, I buddy. I want to carry. Cheers. Cheers. Love you, man. Okay. Mm. Love you more. All right. So listen. Yeah, Marcos. That's probably what I would hear. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say something important. Go ahead. Uh, John Tricali says, "Please, everyone in California, no on Proposition Thirty One. I, I, I would love, uh, John. You know, I've tweeted. I've, I've done my part, but unfortunately, it's gonna pass. But that's not the point. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is one of the things I've been you know, working in Europe now and, you know, with my stores and Dash Vapes and I'm working on a, a, a Jam Monster project here, uh, Monster Labs EU. Monster Labs EU, that's my next project. Um, you know what I don't miss uh, from the political arena in the U.S. is the division that has that, that has overtaken uh, uh, the U.S. in the last five, six years. It's horrible. And it, it's, it's, it's really, it's terrible. It's terrible. It, people are really taking this political stance and whatever the political beliefs are, and they're putting it ahead of being a human being. Yes. And there's no. It, I my my youngest daughter is still in the United States. She still has another year of high school to to finish, and and I hope when she finishes, and she goes to college, she'll be able to get out. I'm I'm really concerned about my family. I'm concerned about me, my friends. Uh, I see the division. I see the hate. I see the um, people right now are so insensitive, insensitive to being humans in America. It is so disappointing. It is so hard to watch. And I hope, you know, no matter what happens with the elections and whoever gets voted, I hope that at some point people realize that no matter who's in power, you're fucked. <laughs> I, Unless you're a billionaire, you're fucked in America. Once people realize that, I think in Europe, a lot of people have realized that tomorrow here in Greece, we have a major strike. There's no taxis, no buses, no metro. Uh, the uh, airport is going to shut down for five hours. <laughs> this is their way of protesting because they understand that no matter what, who's in power, it's not going to change your everyday life. It, it's not. It's not going to change it. So... I hope 
I hope with these next you know elections that are coming up, I hope people in America suddenly realize I need to love my neighbor, my friend, no matter what his political affiliation is. And together we need to bond and understand that no matter who's in power, we're going to get fucked. And once people in America realize this and then they all come together, that's when real change is going to come in America. The decisiveness right now and the hatred is appalling. It's scary. And for anybody, anybody like me and Phil, we, you know, we grew up with, with Greek and Italian values and family values and, and how we treat other people. If those values come back, then we're going to see real change in America. If we're going to keep these values of like, I'm a Trump guy, I'm a snowflake, and we're going to fight each other. Um, the only person that wins are the people that are looking on the sidelines that have made that have caused this rift between us, and they're winning, and we're both losing. You know what? I, 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 I agree with 90% of what you said. 90% of what you said. Um, I've lived my life as, and you've heard me say it before, uh, friend to everybody, enemy to no one. The, the, life is too short to have enemies and, and to hate. And I think that is what has become of this country, especially when it comes to politics. I don't agree with you. Therefore, I have to hate you. Right. And, and I, I don't understand. I just don't get that. Why can't why can't I disagree with you and still get together with you and have a beer or have a coffee or hang and out? And you do it all the time. Bullshit? And I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Look, Matt, tiny lips, right? I don't agree with everything that he says politically, um, but but he's a great guy. Why can't I still think that he's a great guy? You know, and and I think that's what that's what we need. I think we need to to respect each other a, a, a lot more than we do. And I think that we need to have our beliefs and we need to have our opinions, but not try to force them on other people. Yes. I think that's yes. that's yes. key. Right. And I also think that, you know, on, on certain topics out there, look, if one if half of the country thinks one way and the other half of the country thinks the other way, then we need a solution that almost makes both sides unhappy a little bit, right? Or yeah, uncomfortable yeah. a little bit, but it's yeah. something that we can both live with, something that both sides can live with. And when there is compromise and that still doesn't satisfy this side or that side, then you know what? You got to give a little bit. You got to give, a, you, you know, seriously, just give a little bit. Think about what's important to other people while, while you continue to think about what's important to you. Life is too short, folks. And, you know, it, it's, it, it'd be a much better world and a much better society if we just if we just respected each other a little bit and 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 loved each other a little bit more that's yes yes we need love that's all we need love we need, we need dp i would give all my love to aoc i would i would <laughs> give it so much to i like all the way in aoc I'm all the way I, in you know I, I know aoc is gonna um watch this as well and yes, i do 100 i apologize for the dirty things that dimitri wants to do no to you. I, i'm talking about love i'm talking about love true um, you know, love to AOC. I would give it all to. Her. Anyway, clearly, uh, um, Kenny Kenny uh, twenty twenty wants to do a shot because he said, um, "Is that the number?" Wait, wait. Listen, Kenny, you're as bad as Dimitri is. Is that the horrible. number selling watermelon peach you're vaping? Of course it is. Uh, it's in one of my tanks. It's in this tank right here. And uh, Kenny, yes, uh, you can work on the typing a little bit. It's watermelon yeah. peach, the number. It, it, Dimitri, don't laugh because you fucking get it wrong all the time too. Watermelon peach, I do, I do. the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line. D. Cheers, cheers, buddy. Thomas, I love nice you. to see you, buddy. I love Greetings you, man. In Berlin. Mm. Hey, hey, we. Th there's more, but wait. Uh, there's more. We'll, we'll get back to politics in a little bit. Again, if anybody has any uh, any uh, political uh, questions, <laughs> see, like Marshall. I know Marshall disagrees with Matt 80% of the time. Yes. And, and yes. I, Marshall, I, I, I think you're being nice with 80% of the time. Yes. Um, yes but, you know, yes, yes, like, yes. but I still love Matt. I still love yeah. Matt. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Can we announce that yet? 
Um, I mean, it's not it's not locked in, but okay. yes, we can announce it. Yes. Okay. So Guys, we, I'm so excited. We, we will be uh, Dimitri, going. To, Dimitri told me this the other day, and I, 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 I got an erection. I did. I got an erection. Go ahead, Dick. Tell uh, me. On our bucket list, if you've been following the show, you would know that seeing the pyramids is in both uh, me and Phil's uh, bucket list. So we got invited in May 2023 to go to Egypt at uh, the first vape show. That's their huge vape market, by the way, there. This is the first official show. And we got invited to, co to go to the show and spend four days to, you know, see the area and visit the uh, pyramids. So we'll make a formal announcement soon. Once we get everything excited to uh, to go there and see the pyramids with you, buddy. You know, I'm very excited. My entire life. Wait, hold on. Let me do. Uh, we'll go back to this one. My entire life, one of the things that ha has been on my bucket list. And Dimitri and I, we actually had plans to do this with or without vaping. It was yes. going to happen within a couple of years with or without vaping. I just, I, I think the pyramids are one of the most amazing things that man has ever done we can't yeah. do it today and they did it back then i just want to stand in front of the pyramids and say wow i want to see it with my own eyes right you can see pictures all day all day long but but to but to to be able to do that and to to have this opportunity to to do it and uh, attend a vape show too oh my god uh, i'm i'm so so happy and thrilled you have no idea if yeah. If, in addition, for me to stand in front of the pyramids, in addition, for me to stand in front of the Sphinx, if I can see a camel spit on Dimitri, that would just, that, <laughs> that, that, that would be it. That, like, I, could, I can die. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's AJ uh, or who's behind uh, the uh, who's controlling the FV vape show. YouTube says, I hope that doesn't clash with UK Vapor Expo. Listen. I love the UK, I, 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 and you guys are great. But if I had a, ch a choice between going to Egypt or coming to the Disposable Fest in uh, the UK, I mean, that's not even a question. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, we would not uh, go there. What's up, Red uh, Vapes? Uh, also, uh, is the guest just in the background as a prop, or is he coming on? Is the question from Craig D. Um. Oh, we have more from that uh, that guest. Uh, let, let me see. Um, you. Oh, I put my I put my close up cam here because I was going to do something um, <laughs> right in front of your face. Yeah, I know. What do you What do you think about the um, What do you think about the the future of vaping? What do you think about the future of vaping? Yes. The regulations are drafted now in the United States. The the draft that the FDA has released uh, has one chapter inside that basically wipes the entire industry. Um, everything that we have on the market right now, all these products that we use, all, everything is going to go away. Um, it's basically handing over this business to the big tobacco companies that can afford the process application. Yeah. That was so many years ago, and it still holds true. Man. That was that was one of the ones that when I heard it, yeah. I was like, that, that, that's absolutely true. Um, wow. and, and what do you think about uh, like vaping when it comes to, uh, to public health? my experience and my research there has been nothing in the last 100 years that could have such a positive impact on public health yeah yes it's true um by the way where am i getting these clips from uh vape wave that's where they came yes. from d that vape uh, angela says years ago there were two topics never uh, talked about religion and politics need to get back to that angela you're absolutely right i remember this not only in Greece, but also in the United States. 20 years ago, they were just not talked about. They were just not, these were just not, these are things that were kept with your sexual preference in the closet. You know, it's, that's the way it used to be. Uh, but things have, uh, have changed, unfortunately. Also, uh, Pico Lecter says, need pics of Phil hanging on tight, trying to ride a camel. We know he loves those camel toes, boy. You know, <laughs> if we, when me and Phil go to Egypt, there's going to be a lot of funny videos. You know, you it's, know, you know, there's going to be some crazy I funny. Have to wear a body cam. Crazy body funny cam. sweaty uh, videos. Yes, yeah, yes. absolutely. So, yeah. So I might, I just like start losing weight now. Um, let, let's right. take a look. Inobar, in bar. In right. Uh, we have more stuff to go through, but let's take a look at the Inobar. So what is Inobar? Yes. 
Uh, so first of all, Inobar uh, is going to use Aquios. Now, if I would ask Dimitri what it is, he would say Icos, and it would confuse <laughs> it would confuse everybody because for some reason, much like Schnitzel, um, Schnitzel, Schnitzel. See, he's fucking got Schnitzel. me doing it. Schnitzel. He he can't say uh, Aquios. So what is Aquios? Aquios is Inikin's water-based vaping. So they have a technology that allows them to use 30% water in the PGVG flavoring nicotine mix. Um, it homogenizes it so that it doesn't it doesn't separate. Um, and the goal there is to have a more hydrating vape, a uh, potentially a safer vape. I know they're working on numbers there. Um, a uh, a very flavorful and clean vape, a better nicotine delivery vape. So it uses Aquios, right? And it's their first disposable pod system, right? Yes. So, you know, Inikin is known for open systems. You know, Inikin now has uh, some disposables. You know, they have the Enviro. The Enviro is a 90% uh, recyclable 95% product. 95% recyclable. Right? Um, and we've shown that before on the show. But now they have something called the Innobar C1. And this should still work. Look at that. It does. Uh, so here it is. If I zoom in, this is the uh, Innobar C1. And I just uh, I just broke the seal. It's brand brandy new. I actually haven't tried one of these. Uh, and I believe you have, D. Of course, of course. I'm sure it's yeah. Little... You know, I mean, we know what the transition transition is going to be. Disposables won't be around forever. Pod systems are coming next. Pre-filled pod systems, especially with flavors that match the disposable uh, devices, because people that like the disposable icy flavors want to get them in a pod system next. And this is what the inner bar does. So here's the uh, the the cute little base of this. It's going to have a, a USB C port on the the uh, the bottom. So you could think of this as a. Um... Oh Christ! What's the uh, what's the name of the the the, the biggest? Um, that's right in my face. What's the biggest the the biggest replaceable pod? The um. What? What's the what's what's the name of the biggest replaceable pod system? The one the that's Hughes? got all kinds of oh, issues. Oh, the blue. The blue. No, not the blue. The um. The jewel. Oh it's, yeah. Okay. It's it's like right. a jewel. I thought biggest is meant by size. Okay. It's like a jewel. No. Um. Okay. And if we go over to their site. You can see the Aquios water-based vaping technology. Um, it's uh, the move on from disposables. So again, they're trying to be eco-friendly. Uh, I think we we know yeah. that we know that too yeah. from Inikin, right? They have the environmentally friendly packaging. They have the uh, the recyclable um, uh, disposable. And again, they're tr I think they they are thinking about. Um, the world a little bit right sustainability yeah sustainability and I, I, yeah. I was wondering if they had okay they do have a flavor list here so if i go here um iced cosmic sour berries tangerine blueberry grape cherry lemonade rose or rose lychee um jungle juice strawberry watermelon lemon tart and pink lemonade what should i try let me see i want to try the uh, cherry lemonade it was my favorite from the, the, from the, the cherry list. lemonade and tangerine is my second favorite all right, but I want to try. Okay. All right, I'll try the cherry. No, nah, I don't want to do lemon. Tangerine sounds interesting. Tangerine is really good. Let me see if I Oranges, have Oranges, mandarins. Do okay, I do. I do. I have the tangerine. So um, you already saw the uh, the box that the uh, the device comes in. That's the box that the device comes in. This is the box that the uh, the pods come in. And I think, you know, th this is probably going to be a, a, a challenge for Anakin because they need to get this in C stores, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think any any dis, uh, not not disposable, but any replaceable um, pod like this. You need to be able to get the products in various locations. People are going to buy this. They need to have an outlet to be able to buy this. Yeah, right? and you can see the uh, the pods come in a pack in packs of two. I believe these are what's the uh, nicotine strength on this? Two percent, two percent, two percent. So twenty, right? Yeah. Okay, so again, uh, more for the uh, the overseas market than the U.S. market. Everything here is five percent or fifty uh, or sixty we, or sixty. Or sixty, really? All right, so we have a little little condom there. Why is it not focused there? Little condom protecting it. We have a little um, label here telling you the name of the flavor, which I do appreciate. Little uh, piece in here protecting the mouthpiece. Only one way this can go in, like this. And that's it. It should be ready to that's go. That's it. That's so all you do. The Innobar. Does it have a light on it? It has a little light on the bottom. 
uh, when you puff on it. But uh, again, it's just supposed to be something that's going to move you on from disposables. Instead of throwing away the entire battery and disposable, you'll be able to throw away just the pod system. And if you can recycle that plastic, it's going to be, you know, that's going to be even better. By the way, the answer to the question that you had for me before the show started regarding those other liquids, the answer is yeah. no. Okay, this is okay. much, much ice here. Um, yes. It's got a nice tangerine flavor. Yes, it's a nice. It's, it's it's my second favorite. You know me. I will tell you exactly if I like the flavor, right, or, the flavor right. or not. Listen, listen, uh, Anakin, uh, because you know, in addition to AOC, Carrie Lake, uh, Tudor Dixon, and uh, and Na- uh, uh, Carrie. No, I said Carrie. Na- Naomi. Who's the other one? Who's the other girl? <laughs> I don't know. Bring I don't remember. Anyway, um, I'm sure Anakin is going to watch this too. Listen, when you're ready, when you're ready. To make it disposable for the rest of us, and Dimitri's going to completely disagree with me, right? But when you're ready, when you're ready to do a free base twelve or eighteen that's got a nice strong throat hit and non ice flavors, I'm there for you. I will support that. I will put my name on it. I will put my name on a disposable. Good. When you're ready to create a disposable for the rest of us, okay, I'm there for you. Okay, it's good, but I can't vape it. It's comfortable too. Um, I like I like the um, go back to the uh, the close up here. So th- this is actually the first time I'm experiencing this too. No, not that one. This one. I really like the comfort level of this mouthpiece. Yeah. See that little smoothness right there? That feels really really comfortable in the mouth. Very lightweight too. I like the um, if you notice too, the white has like a little pearlescent thing going on there too. Yeah, USB C charging. Um... It's a, it's it's a very well thought out product to go to the next stage. You know, look at the questions here. Peggy says, "Do we dare stock pre-filled pods?" That sounds risky. It might sound risky today, and this is understandable. Even when we were at the last show uh, in uh, the UK with George and France with Phil, this did not get a lot of attention because disposables are all the rage right now. But I'm telling you. Bill, mark this date and time. I'm telling you right now. Here comes another disposables one. Disposables have a shelf life like milk. Disposables are going to go away soon in one shape, form, or another. You're not going to see the craze that that is disposable today, 12 to 18 months from now. Governments are going to crack down on it. Environmentally friendly countries are going to crack down on it. And the industry is going to change. So the easiest next step the easiest next step before going to a refillable system is a pre-filled pod system. So in this case, we always, you know, say Inigan's a little bit late to the game because they take a long time with their R and D and they're just not chasing the dragon. On this particular case, I think that Inigan did the right thing by having this product ready today because this is going to be the next stage of disposables. It's going to be a pre-filled pod system that has the same flavors that match a disposable system that's out there. So. Is it risky right now? Yes, Peggy, it is risky. It 100% is risky because if you're going to bring it in, the customers can only come to you to buy it. If it's not available in 100 shops in your area, people are not going to buy into this ecosystem. It's like an Apple, <laughs> like an Apple product, right? Uh, but when the shift does happen, and it will happen, we have a product that's ready to go. I want to try uh, the can strawberry. Can they even sell pre-filled in America, says Craig? If they filed for a PMTA, yes, they can sell them. But listen, and 90% of the products in America are illegal right now, so <laughs> who the fuck cares? <laughs> who the fuck cares? I want to try the strawberry watermelon. Um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't my favorite. The cherry, the cherry lemonade was probably my All right, favorite. I'll try that one too. Uh, but I was wondering from our, our special guest if he has any um, like statistics uh, for people uh, quitting using vaping. If you dive deeper into the study and look at wow. the survey that they did with 26,000 users showing 35% quit rate and another 30% reduction uh, in electronic cigarettes, that is almost 70% success rate on the product. If you truly believe in harm reduction, it is, it's a miracle. I totally agree with that guy. I mean, that guy makes a I lot had, of sense. Um, that guy has three chins on that video, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. Are there um, are there three? Well, let's see. There's three chins on that guy. Let's uh, sure. let's uh, count them. Count them down. Count uh, them there's down. one here. Yeah. There's yeah. definitely one here. Yeah. There might be there another layer one, yes. right about yes. there. Yes. There's three right chins. about there. Yeah. yeah it's okay. Guy. It's okay. You you know the, whoever that guy is, he fixed it. He fixed it. 
Uh, uh, the watermelon, uh, the watermelon strawberry is nice. I mean, I, like I'm getting yeah, a, nice. a distinct separation between the watermelon, which is more like yeah. a Jolly Rancher. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Clearly not. Hold on. It's, you need to hire somebody to refill your. Glass I should. During That's the a show. great idea. Clearly not the uh, the watermelon that you you get from uh, watermelon peach, the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line, though. Mm. Cheers. Hey, cheers, pal. A bit like me, yeah. A little bit like you, yeah. Thank God I shaved my goatee the other night. I was like Monday night. I just shaved it off completely. I was like, oh, fuck it. You know, I was wondering if he, um, like, how does he feel about like helping other people with you know vaping? I was and like quitting yeah. smoking. To me, every person that I help quit smoking is rewarding. I feel just as good as I did four years ago when I helped my first person quit smoking. It, yeah, it's a good feeling, man. It really is. It's a great feeling. It really mm -hmm. is. Thank you, buddy. Uh, that's why Field uh, liked you. Uh, use Fluffy. Yes. Um, what time, what time listen, is it? Hold oh, on a second. Okay. I, I want to know who's who's uh, answering from the FV uh, Vape Show in the UK. Like, who is uh, behind the account? I just want to make sure. Because I, I want to make some jokes about them. Uh, by the way, Field, let me say, these guys, uh, you know, they're promoting their show. They're showing, like, you know, oh, I have, like, millions of views or whatever. But, you know... I, I don't want to make, make him feel bad, but if you look at your channel, Phil. Yes. Wait, wait, hold on. Did you say cherry lemonade was your favorite? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, cherry's a tough flavor. I'm going to try that. It's a tough, it's a tough one, but it came out really, really. That's the one I was vaping when we were together in France. Uh, oh, Pete, Pete's behind. Okay. So, um, if, <laughs> what I like about this show is like, you know, they're trying to, uh, you know, become more of a business, which I really appreciate. I'm trying to help them out. But they keep, po you know, posting like these numbers like, oh, look at our channel. It has like millions of views. But Phil, since you've been on YouTube since 2010. Yeah. Like if you put your views next to their views, it's going to make them feel like like have like a two inch penis, which I, I'm, I'm assuming that Pete does have a two inch penis. No, don't say that keeps... about Pete. It's like two and a half. Yeah, because he keeps promoting these numbers, which are irre irrelevant. Irrelevant. First I mean, of all, the numbers. First of all, okay. So here's the thing. I love those guys, right? Yes, I do. I do too. Um, but when when in my vaping career did I care about numbers and YouTube statistics? Never. Never. Ever. I don't think no, I've but, ever like. I mean, there might have been in all of the videos that I've done, like maybe one or two. Where I told people, hey, you know, su subscribe. And I think the reason why I did that was I said, you know, because there was a contest. And I said, you got to be a subscriber to win the contest. Like, I am going to do a stocking contest. It is going to be yes. a massive, massive Inican wow. giveaway. Right? A uh, little, you know, uh, precursor there. So you, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. But... And see, here's the difference, though, between between me and, and those guys. They're a business, right? Yes. They need to earn a living. They need to make a living off of this. So I yes. get it. I get I wanna that. I want to help. Right? I want to help. But right. The numbers but for me, it's relevant. never been it's never been a business. It's been a way. It's been something that I enjoyed enjoyed doing, right? And it's been a way to help people not smoke anymore. So there's a little bit of a difference there. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, but I do love you guys. From John. I do love you guys. Question from John. This is a political question. We got a political question finally came in. About time. How many drinks would it take for you to do Hillary Clinton? This question is for you. Hillary Clinton? And and Dimitri's uh, would like to watch if that's okay with you. And will a cigar be involved? Okay. Uh, first of all, <laughs> the only part of me that would touch Hillary Clinton is the cigar. That's number one. Okay. And number two... Regarding drinks, there's not enough left in this bottle. Wow. John, just that's saying. your answer, buddy. Yeah. Just, uh, he just, he just wouldn't do it. And and it's not, it's not again, it's not her political, um, you know, it has nothing to do with politics. I'm just not attracted to, to her. Maybe like years ago, you know, but not, not today. No, it's, you know. I would, I would, I wouldn't do it. I will I, I mean, it's just, <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. But that, I mean, it, again, that goes back to preference, John. You have to understand, it's not a political thing. It's not like a Democrat and Republican mm -hmm. thing. It's like if the figure, the the political figure, turns you on. That's that's the key here in the contest of. Can you bring it back up? Uh, uh, political figures 
Phil wants to have sex with. This is this is what the the contest is. This it's this long acronym that Phil has come up with. This is the the P F P W T H S W. Bad name. This is what we have to figure. Hey, remember if you're just joining us, there is a contest going on uh, in the in the comments in the comments of this video. Uh, we are looking for a better name for this. Uh, this particular PowerPoint, the the current name is PFPWTHSW, which stands for Political Figures. Phil wants to have sex with. We are looking for a better name. Go ahead and uh, put put those names in the comments. We will pick a winner, pick a big winner. By the way, um, we we had a a a current contest for the Scepter Two winners yes, with the we DP. Have two winners. We have two. We're, we have two we are winners. gonna we have two winners. We're gonna get to that. Um, and there was very little people, not not a lot of people, like played along, right? Um, so, <laughs> well, I mean, so if not a if lot of people I, watch our videos, anymore. yeah, I know, we're, I know that we're too. We're not popular right? like the FV, uh, FV, uh, FV vape show in the UK. You know, they yeah, have like yeah, apparently. millions of views. Uh, yeah. So, um, if if I don't get a good enough answer, if I don't get something that I really really like, uh, yeah. we're gonna have to extend it. Extend. Yeah. Look, Phil's chloroform list very, very good, very creative. But, <laughs> but you good. do have That's to good. put it. You do have to put it in the comments yes. of this yes, video. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Ch yes. chat won't work. Chat. I'm not going to look at the chat. Okay. I wonder if the FV uh, vape show is registered as a business like uh, vaping with Vic is in the UK. I'm, I'm going to have to do a little uh, research on that. And look By the way, your, uh, I I extended the olive branch in the last video to vaping with Vic. I I haven't heard anything. Yeah. Uh, I wonder why. Because I, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because you probably scared the shit out of him. That's why. Uh, well, he's a pussy, so it doesn't make any difference to me. Um, so uh, I, I, I give you my selection for the winner. And Cherry uh, lemonade is good, dude. I told you what. That's the best one. I, I mean, and again, it's a flavor preference uh, when it comes to these uh, these pot systems. But I could vape that. I could vape that. Now I could I'm vape curious. That like now I'm curious because. If you remember, lychee was my flavor for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. And rose lychee? I got to try it. Hold on. How come uh, people... Why Why do people on the internet, like with unboxing videos, not use like a real <laughs> box opener and use like stupid yeah. shit, like giant fucking swords and like big pocket knives? Oh, why do people... This makes for a good video. You know, they're like, oh, look at me. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. tough. All right. Well, anyway. <sighs> Oh, I have I have more news, D. Uh, oh, you, I'm ready. You, I'm even ready you don't know this. Okay. Larry knows. Of course, Larry. You're Larry like all these buddies. Yeah, I don't get jealous like you do with my friends. You know, if somebody comes over here and is like, "Oh, you're spending a lot of time with him," you but know, you're I, spending a lot of time with Larry. I don't get jealous. I hope. I hope. I understand I just hope, Larry's. Listen, old, I just you know, hope. I just listen. hope. When you're fucking Monir, you use a condom. That's all I care. Listen, I just, I'm telling you, I know that Larry's old. He can't get laid. He's looking for buddies and all that. I understand. I understand the connection. I, I know what you bring to the table with him. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're spending a lot of time with Larry. I'm starting to get a That is nervous. crazy unique. The lychee? Yeah, the rose lychee. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, if I like if if I liked ice flavors, I would vape this. Yeah. But listen, Anakin, if you're watching, if you want to do a disposable <laughs> for the rest of us, I'm here for you. No one's gonna buy it. That's the problem. No, there's um, like there's like three other guys. Yes, you and two other guys. Yes. Peach, uh, Le right. peach and lychee. What was what was the flavor that I that, what was it? Uh, from um, from Buffalo. Uh, not tasty vapor. From um, yeah yeah yeah. Oh my god. He's gone now. Yes. Uh, from Brad, uh, Brad, yes. Juicy Vapor, what Juicy was the name Vapor. Of this company originally, Juicy Vapor. What was the name of it? Juicy Vapor, Juicy Vapor. Yeah, yeah, Juicy yeah. Vapor. What was the name of it? I was on that. I was on that liquid for years. I couldn't get I off know. of it. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I know what you're talking about, dude. This is crazy good. Well, maybe oh, you can that's... vape that when you go out. That's nice. Uh, there Ro was Rose Lychee, thing... man. There was one thing that I wanted to bring up today that was just like breaking news that happened yesterday. Oh, boy. Oh, by the way, uh, I just want everybody to know, because this is the um, the election show, uh, Dimitri said, "Do you, are you going to have the results ready to go? I think he forgot what time it is there versus what time yes, it is yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you did, right? I know. 
No, I, I, I'm, I'm I can't. I'm really interested to see. Mid, midterms are always interesting. Usually, a couple days ago, that Donald Trump is planning to announce his run for 2024. So I, I'm really interested to see how the midterms are going to turn out. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, it, it, I see these races, like in Georgia, we have Herschel Walker that's running, <laughs> you know, former running back, you know. But, I mean, the guy is just so... It's just illiterate when it comes to politics and it, it is, I, no wait hold on a second i was i was okay Let, let's talk politics let's go back it's it's the election yeah. show i listened to the herschel walker debate okay granted he's got he's got a real bad like accent draw whatever you want but if you listen to the words he makes a lot of sense i i think i think he's really really smart right but he has a hard time communicating like i'm gonna say yes, you know that reminds me of our former president as well too and he lost the election is what i'm saying is that this is the point that i'm trying to make you need to be a good politician you know when i'm making the shift in tennessee you know me stepping down and i told the guys that are taking over when it comes to politics like when i go talk to politicians i know what you're gonna yeah i agree you need to make him feel comfortable i think any politician that talks should not make me scared of this motherfucker can't you know if i'm scared with him talking like can you imagine representing me uh you know in in a political fashion for my district i think when it comes to politicians a lot of them have to go back to understand that you need to be able to talk in a way that it comforts people in your district and not make them concerned about your family's well-being it, it's just so simple it's so simple yeah well if i mean I'm gonna, if yeah. No, no. What I'm saying is that if I'm going to come out and say, okay, well, vote for me because this person, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is in my district in Georgia. You know, I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene. It, 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 do, do I have to say anything else? Right. I don't want my kids to be living under this um, person that's representing my district that's going to come out and say these things that are just so horrible that it makes me feel fear for my family. I want to feel comfort. I want to feel safe. I want to feel like we have somebody that's going to lead us and protect us. And the majority of politicians now are taking this different approach where it's make it's it's a huge turnoff for me, 100%. There's no, I would never vote for somebody like that. But I think a lot of people in the U.S. are starting to wake up and feel the same way as well, too. Even people that are supporters of that particular party. And we see this prime example again, Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> You're going to have these 10 people in your district that are going to be die hard. Let's go fucking let's go America. Uh, but you're going to have a lot of people that are going to say, well, I don't want my kid to be raised with these values where we're going to come out and, and, and talk when I'm representing my district with these kind of words. So, yes. Yeah, and 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 along those lines, um, I'll go ahead and, and talk politics here a little bit. Uh, I kind of feel partially the same way about Fetterman, right? I mean, yeah, Fetterman, sure. great, he may be a great guy. He may have a yeah. great heart. He may have good policies, okay? But part of the job is to communicate. In high stress, in, in a high stress environment, right? You have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to get your point across. You have to be able to convince and, and, and swerve yes. people's ideas. You yes. need to be able to do that. Okay, yes. and I'm sorry, but he he's currently not qualified to do that. He's not yes. again, maybe the greatest guy in the world. And I'm not saying that, you know, uh, I forget there's a word for it. They call it. I don't know. But but look in a high stress environment where you don't have words on a screen. Right. Yeah. You, you, you can't do the job. It's right. not a good person to vote for, for that right. job. It's like, I'm look, I don't want a blind pilot piloting my plane. I'm yes. sorry, I don't, yes. right? And it's not to sound mean or heartless or it's just you got to be qualified for the job that you're being, that, that you're going for. And in my, in my humble opinion, he's not. He's not, okay? 
So, you know, uh, I, I, by and the by way, the way, question from Steve, another political question. Uh, I wonder where Marjorie Taylor Greene would fall on the. Um, oh, the PFP? Would, w? Yeah. P she, I, uh, to, to me, I will tell you, there's nothing sexual. I think there's nothing about her that turns me. She looks like the uh, <laughs> lesbian cheerle cheerleader in high school. That's, that's exactly what she, she looks to me like that. This is this is exactly when I look at her. This is what I get out of her. Like this, it just it does nothing for me. You know, I was she thinking about be on this. My list. You know, it would be. Uh, I, I would love um, Christy Nome. I think that I would love to rub watermelon peach the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line the zero nick version though i mean i do have a heart right like into her like butt cheeks you know wow. and in the small of her back wow right you know like that so wow. okay. all right uh so that's I how i feel about fetterman I and you said so and wait hold on wait yeah. i gotta do i gotta do something else political here again too yeah. you said before that no, no matter who gets voted in, right, and and no matter um, th that it's not going to affect us, right? It, you said we're we're going to get screwed regardless, which yes. I agree with. I I totally yes. agree with it, right? And you said, um, but we're not going to feel it, right? I partially disagree with that, a and here's why. And I'm not saying it's because of or not because of, or or the, the policies, or whatever. All I know is, when the other guy was president, okay, my life was better. The prices were lower. That's, that's how you should vote. Okay. That's how you should vote. Right. Yes. Prices were lower. Things were better. My 401k was a lot higher. The stock yes. market was better. Yes. So, yes, with the other guy, I was better off than I am today. That's how you should vote. But also take in consideration that things happen on purpose, like COVID, a war, shortages, China, everything that's going on right now, things happen on purpose to make people think that things are worse now versus Could when very somebody well else be. was president. It, 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 I mean, 100% feel, 100%. Everything that's happening right now in the world is to make people feel insecure, raise prices, and, and the rich get richer. This is the only reason why this is happening. You cannot tell me that in a country like China, we cannot produce chips to put in what a fucking BMW. You know, I mean, the, I'm just not buying that. I'm not. Um, You're just jealous because you don't have wireless charging in your in your BMW. I'm, yeah, I'm still mad you about are. that. But um, but we have to be fair and balanced i sound like fox news but we have to be fair and balanced in making our decisions i agree when bill clinton was president i told this to a lot of people whether the economy was good or not or bad it doesn't make any difference to me he had such a charisma this is how he was able to fuck monica Lewinsky. he had such a charisma when bill clinton came out and talked he made people feel at ease and comfortable and people spent money and the economy was moving i had money in my pocket and I, this is how I voted in the second election when I voted for Bill Clinton again because of that reason. When Trump lost the election, now we have Biden on. If you're not happy with the way things are now, you need to go out there in the polls and vote and make your decision You know, in 2024 and vote for the person that you feel is going to be the best for you. This is how you should vote. But you should not vote that way because... My friend is a snowflake and he's, you know, complaining about Agreed. his Agreed. LGBTQ issues. And I'm going to vote against him because my friend wants to have equal rights for gay people, which it should be a right. You know, I mean, let's, if, let's, especially now with the Supreme Court and what happened, I have a lot of gay friends and trans friends that I feel really bad, that, that want to leave the United States right now. Uh, that should not be the reason why you should vote. You should vote because of the way that it affects your day to day life. If you were to transition to a female, I would still love you. Thank you, buddy. I might. Okay, I would still love you. I mean, I wouldn't love you, love you. I mean, you know, yes. but I would still love you. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying, right? I know um, exactly what you're saying. Yeah, and you, so okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, uh, what I was gonna say, we only have ten minutes. I want to. I want you to bring up that that website that I just sent you. This just happened uh, um, yesterday. Uh, the so, USBA, put so much uh, pressure on me. I'm sorry. Just click the link and open it up. Uh, USVA uh, filed a lawsuit uh, the other day with uh, with the uh, against the FDA 
um, a very fair uh, lo- yeah, a, a tough love so- lo- lawsuit by by far, but a fair uh, lawsuit. Everything that has come out with the uh, audit that's happening at the FDA and the Center for Tobacco Products, which we talked about in the last DP show uh, with the anonymous people that were calling him out. Uh, uh, but there was a lawsuit that was filed uh, yesterday uh, against the FDA that wants to declare the PMTA final rule in violation of the Regulatory Flexibility Act. I don't know if, uh, how many people have been following this, but at the beginning when the FDA uh, uh, announced the uh, PMTA ruling in 2016, uh, they did uh, make a huge announcement saying that we're going to work with small businesses. We're going to be able to um, to help small businesses get through this process. We're going to be able to bridge information, do a bunch of stuff. All that shit was you know, completely eradicated. Um, they're asking to remand the PMTA final rule to the FDA and, of course, uh, enjoin the FDA from enforcing the PMTA final rule against the members of the uh, of the uh, trade association uh, and not take any actions necessary uh, that they're violating against the FDA. This is a very good lawsuit based on the information that we've seen in the last year. Folks, I will tell you, there's people on the record through the FDA that have said that we're gonna work with small businesses, we're gonna be able to bridge information, share PG, VG information, flavorings, to make the process more affordable and get the small businesses through. All this was announced back in 2016. You can go back and look at uh, Smoke Free Radio episodes, or you can just Google it. Um, however, at one point when the FDA realized that it's not gonna be just you know five companies submitting PMTA, it's gonna be thousands of companies submitting PMTA, the FDA basically got in a room somewhere, and this is coming out through the Freedom of uh, Information Act uh, uh, inquiries that have gone to the FDA and the anonymous whistleblowers from the FDA saying that they're not following the science. At some point at the FDA, they sat down in a room, and I hope this com- it will come out at some point, but you know, by that point, it's gonna be a Netflix documentary, but I hope at some point it comes out. They sat down in a room and they basically said, look, uh, we didn't expect that these small guys are going to go through the burdensome uh, trouble of filing PMTAs for their products, as they did. Over 6 million products were filed with the FDA. So the FDA sat down in the room and said, you know, we're just going to change this, and we're going to do, um, um, we're, we're, we're going to make a, a, a new um, uh, standard operating procedure in the FDA and just reject everybody. Just gonna say this is a flawed PMTA and just fuck them, and we're just gonna work with the big companies like Juul and uh, and Views and uh, you know the the big tobacco companies, and this has happened. I mean, it's it's documented. It's we know it's happened. So this lawsuit, you no, know, um, my kudos to uh, USVA for filing this, and I I can't wait to see what happens when it when it gets to court and some of this information is revealed. Um, the unfortunate fact again zero uh you know mainstream media coverage of this event i think this is a huge event for us as vapors and for companies in the vape space in america uh unfortunately your average joe schmo that's going to the election today or in 2024 uh is not going to be able to um to get that information because nobody is covering it unfortunately hey can you go so, over usva real quick uh, USVA, another trade association, is spearheaded by a couple of lawyers down in Texas. Um, some companies are behind it, obviously. Um, but uh, again, look, it's a paid um, assassin, basically, if you want to call it that. The Navarro firm that's behind it, uh, that, that started this, is the one that um, um, sued the FDA a few times so far. Um, but look, it's just a trade association that's trying to protect their members and it's trying to protect a few of the big members that the, that they have on their membership. And um, it's just another trade association like VTA, like SPADA and, and so forth and so forth. But uh, nonetheless, they have stepped up and they have done some things. <clears throat> Again, do I agree with him on 100%? I don't. Uh, but when something like this happens, how can I not put my support behind it and announce it here and talk about it? Because it is, it's a hundred percent valid. The the lawsuit and their ask is a hundred percent valid. How it's going to play out, you know, in courts and when the Department of Justice, <clears throat> when the DOJ comes and defends this case and whatever they're going to refer to, you know, as far as the law books are concerned, I don't know how it's going to play out. 
The only advantage that a lawsuit like this has is if you can get it into the eyes of mainstream media. This is the advantage of a lawsuit. When you get into the to, into the eyes of Anne Marie or or people that are not involved in the in the in the vape space, and and people look at this and it's like, what the fuck? This is our Food and Drug Administration did this. That's the win, in my opinion. So whatever USVA is doing is great. What I would ask for as somebody now that's kind of like neutral and in Europe, what I would ask for is like spend some money and get this shit on CNN and ABC and NBC and try to get some Main Street coverage. Try to get some of these guys for a couple of minutes on Fox News to talk about we're suing the FDA because the FDA fucked small business in America. And that is the win, in my opinion. So here's the, uh, the donations page for the, uh, the yeah. USVA. Uh, ten dollar customer donation or so from ten dollars to five thousand. Five thousand. <laughs> There's nothing in between. It's like um, what do you call it? Zero uh, nicotine or fifty milligrams. Uh, like yeah, three milligram or fifty milligrams. Yeah. Seriously. And uh, you know, speaking of uh, you know uh, e liquid, you know, with with uh, with Christy Gnome again. Um, wow. I think you know, uh, the, the, like the, the watermelon peach, the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line. I'm the zero it. zero milligram. I'm seeing it. Like butt cheeks and like small of the back, whereas. Um, with uh with aoc right oh my gosh you're so hot just just like the, just the whole lunch just the butthole like a little bit of watermelon wow Wait, i see when when i look at that first picture I, I know you so well d hey this is how well i know you yes please okay pay attention go ahead i know you so well yes when i look at her picture who i christy yeah no no yeah yeah, yeah. When I look at her, I know you. This is how I know you better than yourself. You, you do. I know. I know that you're attracted to her. I know. I look know. at her. Look at her. How can you not be? Because I know you, not me. I know you so well. I know that. I know what turns you on about her. Right. But I think. I mean, yeah. when you look at AOC, go back to AOC. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I even. I even Still. found a picture with a little bit of leg for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, that, you know, that look, I'm telling you, Tudor's looking good, brother. Okay. Okay. It's looking good. Okay. And, you know, yeah, they, I'm, I'm carry. I think, you know what? I, I bet you anything. I bet you anything between Christy, between AOC, and Tudor, I bet you she's the best in bed. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'd have to find, I'd, I'd, I'd have to do personal research on this to be able to answer that question. Um, Marshall Keith says CNN just posted Stan Glantz. Yeah, Stan Glantz put out a report uh, today and um, talking about teen vaping. But whatever. I, yeah, I, this is what I'm saying, Marshall. They have the power to put it on CNN, and we don't have the power to put up USVS uh, lawsuit. All right. Okay. Uh, the the Oh, we have to find he, out who won. Let, let's winner. find out. I, I sent you. I sent you my winner as well. Too. He's in Europe as well, too. So uh, hold on a second. Let me. Uh, we said we said we were going to do it live. I don't know if I. Yeah. Okay. So who did you pick? <laughs> I picked uh, Gordon Locke. Uh, great to see you guys again. Great to see that you're alive and kicking after the hurricane feel. I didn't catch the live stream. I live in Central Europe, but I watched the replay. We had a vape show here in Vienna in 2016, just before the TPD kicked in. It was great. Aaron Bieber was there. He gave a talk on his then new film, A Billion Lives. A few others talked as well, mostly centered around advocacy. Good to hear. So I picked Gordon Locke. Okay, good. I Where's where's my pick? Hold on. Let me see. I can't. All right. It was about technology, wasn't it? Yes, something about tech. Innovation. Innovation. Here we go. Um, hi. The, uh, so I picked uh, Benz. And Ben said, hi, I would like to see innovation. Shows are to present new technologies, uh, co education to smokers, uh, chance to try vaping products. I like that. I like the fact that yes. he talked about uh, innovation and technology, right? Innovation yes. I, and I, technology. Listen, I get it. I get it, my friend. You're, you're right. But we've been doing this for 10 years. Like, it, the, what innovation can we bring right now with disposables? What, can, what can innovation do you want us to bring? Yeah, well, what, what innovation do you want to bring? Well, let me tell you something. What we could do, in Anakin, if you're listening, uh, we're going to create a disposable for the rest of us. All right. So listen, Benz, the, uh, the, the, the big innovation in disposables is going to be going back, back to where we all started um, yeah. with, with, with delicious free base nicotine, with non-ice flavors, with a satisfying, thumpy uh, throat hit. 
You know, something satisfying. Something that vapes like a man. Mm. Okay. Yeah, polls are closing soon, Larry. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be seeing soon. So okay. So anyway, going back here, uh, Bench, Bench, you are one of the winners, and Gordon is was the other one. Gordon. Okay, reach there out. you go. Right reach next to each other. Bizarro. Right yes. next to each other. Re- reach out to Phil Bissardo. We'll get your uh, information. Um, yeah. Hold on a second. So you know what you got to do. Uh, get a hold of me at pbissardo at tasterjuice.com. Uh, I'll get some information from you, and we will get these into the mail just as soon as we possibly can. Wow, it's been a long time uh, since I've said that. Listen, D, surprise. I yeah, had more? Yeah, the, one more thing, okay? I had the most unique and expensive oil change of my life today. Wow. Yes. Wow. On I the did. Jeep? On the Jeep? With the Jeep. With the uh, the Jeep. Yeah. So um, I I went in. Uh, I had a, a service appointment this morning um, for oil change tire rotation on the uh, on the new Jeep. And um, what I walked out with was a brand new Jeep. Why? Because that's the new. It's the new model with all the features that I wanted, and yes, but- and, and the new body style. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Good. I'm so happy for you. I am. I'm. I'm really, really excited. And um, so you Good know, you. It, it, it. Like I said, it was a very, very unique oil change. I did. I, like I, I got new oil, but I got it in a, in a whole new. Good video. for you, buddy. I'm happy for you. Yeah. yeah as long I'm, as you're happy, I'm happy as well too. Oh, uh, let's see. The Question: whole, Can you compare uh, the candidates to the unsalted line, please, so I can really make sense of them? Oh, who would be Blueberry Morning? Oh, who would be Blueberry <laughs> Morning? Um, okay, I can, I can answer that immediately. Uh, Fetterman, a hundred percent. No, 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 no. 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 The, from who? the chicks, from the chicks, from the chicks, from the chicks. Oh, from the girl. Okay, so we got to go back to the list. Okay, hold on yes, a second. Yes, yes. Okay, all right, hold on. Let's uh, pull up the list here. All right, okay. Blueberry morning would definitely be Carrie Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake There's is no blueberry morning. Okay. 100%. 100%. Um all right and then uh your Watermelon flavor? peach. No 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 no, no not peach. yet. Now we'll we save okay. the best for last. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I would say that cool citrus Cool citrus would yes would be Christy Noom. Oh, Christy Noom. Okay. Yes. And yes. I will say this. Uh, let me go to this because I very rarely do a full fill. Uh, I would say that uh, watermelon peach, the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted <laughs> line, is all of them at the same time. I mean, we're we're talking about orgy. Like it, it's it's a yes. complete it's a complete so good. <laughs> or it, that's how good. I mean, that's how good it is. It's like it's like an it's like having an orgy. What would that be? A what's five? It's not a foursome. It's a well, a fivesome. Fivesome, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's, still it's an orgy. Like, it's just oh, it's yeah. just a full on orgy with yeah. Christy Nome, with with AOC, with Kerry Lake, with Tudor Dixon. Mm-hmm. All of them is it, it, that's what it's like vaping watermelon peach, the number one best selling flavor in the unsold life. Now I know there are women uh, that that watch the show. Uh, cheers to all the cheers. Year, but, mm-hmm. Um, and I feel, I feel that we're gonna we're we're leaving the women out a little bit. I feel yes. that we're uh, and and I I, I do. I want to take care of the the ladies who watch this show. Um, and if the ladies already like ladies, all right, good. We're all we're all on the same page. But if there are ladies that, uh, on the show that 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 enjoy the company of of men, um, of course, I mean you do want to be with uh, you know with. By the way, Christy Nome. <laughs> Uh, butt cheeks. <laughs> you lost me. Yeah, Hold on. Ahead. Christy Gnome, butt cheeks, and small of back with watermelon peach. Then I want back. Yeah. Um, uh, Alexandria Cortez. Um, yes. Like just the butthole. Just a little butthole. Yes. Right. Um, Tudor. I'm thinking like breasts. Yes. Right. Um, Carrie Lake. <laughs> what are you thinking with her? <laughs> I'm thinking like neck and behind the, like really. Yeah. Oh, you know I mean? yeah, 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 uh, yeah. But Anne Marie, uh, if, if you're still watching. Yeah. The whole thing, baby. The, the you, whole package. The whole, wherever you want. That, I, will, that, I will tell you one thing. That's I where you get that watermelon, watermelon peach. peach. Watermelon peach yes. would be Tudor, not AOC. I would put AOC on the ice pineapple mango um, list, but watermelon peach, the number one selling in the unsalted line. Whoa, would you be, gotta, 
You yes. got a thing for Tudor. No, I don't. I don't. I'm again. I I'm trying. I'm I answering the question. Okay. In the best of my ability, with a very professional answer. Okay. If I had to choose watermelon peach from yes. all this list, I would put it on two. She matches the watermelon peach profile. You think AOC so? AOC does not. AOC, I guarantee you. Let me tell you something. Yo, look at me. Maybe AOC is. I don't um, know a lot of things. I don't know a lot of things, but I do know women. Maybe AOC is like jungle AOC, juice from Anakin. AOC <laughs> would never be just plain watermelon peach. She would be just it's peach her and a little freaky. This is why. The so ice, an ice flavor. Ice, an yes, ice flavor. Yes. She, mm. would, she would be. AOC would be like a step above what you expected. Like you go in to a room and you say, okay, listen, we're going to have like passionate hot sex. And then she pulls out like two whips and handcuffs. This is what AOC, it would put it above the watermelon peach, which is a nice basic fruit profile. It's a very good all day vape, but I want a little more. AOC would be that. I bet so, you, I bet two you. Door, two door is the watermelon peach. I bet you AOC just lies there. I bet she does. What? I bet you no, she does. No, there's no way. There's no way. So, ladies, I, I want to do something for you, too. Ladies, okay, if you put suggestions in the comments of this video, I will create a whole new PowerPoint just for the ladies. Wow. And I will call wow. it the political figures Dimitri wants to have sex with. That's what yes, I will call yeah, it. Down. I don't care. I don't, okay. No problem with me. All right. No so, ladies, if you want to play along too, if you have political figures that that you would like to have sex with, we're an equal opportunity show, right? Yes. We love everybody. All right. We'll do that for the ladies. Okay. How about that? Good job. Is that fair? That's Good pretty job. cool. Right. I'm down. And I'm it's down. something. I'm down with oh, that. Jesus Christ. And it's something to look forward to as we move forward in the shows. All right. So recap the uh, contest and no. wrap it up because it's two o'clock no. in the morning here. Known tube. He's catching up, but he votes for AOC. Listen, you got a lot of catching up to do. You really do. Uh, again, uh, please, we we do appreciate if you if you like the show. Uh, we do appreciate yes. if you subscribe, and we do appreciate if you you share share the show as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just you're just supposed to say that on on YouTube now, right? Yeah, you're supposed to. You're supposed to. Uh, all right. So, uh, recap. We we want comments uh, on this uh, replay episode of how we're going to rename the PFPWTHSW, which is political figures feel wants to have sex with. Give right. us a good name. We want to rename. We're add to this list. Yes. We're going to add to this list. If we get a lot of women commenting on the name change, we're going to add men as well too to the list. A different list. And, it will. Uh, it would definitely you, be a different list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. If we do pick you, you're going to win a Z60 and a DP show scepter. One in Europe, one in America. I recapped it pretty good. You did. You did a good job. So this and was Pete. Pete still has a vagina because he vapes three milligram, and he uh, shares <laughs> like, oh, I got like a million of views. Like nobody gives it. Like nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> How many fucking million views you have? You fucking reviewing Jay Hayes' liquid for crying out loud. You, to you know what? Views. I would still that's hang how, out. That's how gay it is. It's like you're reviewing <laughs> Jay Hayes' liquid, bro. I mean, come on. This is, we're talking about Europe here. Come on, bro. And and yeah, you know yeah. what? If they live down the block, I would still hang out with them because I think they're a lot of fun and they're really cool. They're good guys. They really okay, see, are. This, once again, this is uh, Phil yeah. Basardo being this Switzerland of vaping and Dimitri just causing troubles and issues and problems. I'm not causing trouble. I'm just being real. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't like it. Nobody likes the truth. Nobody you know, likes you, the you, truth. you are the reason. You are the reason why I'm not going to get to go on Vic's show. You're the fucking reason. You're the reason. I'm not. You're, if, uh -huh. if, if, if Vic has the balls to bring us on both and be able to handle the I didn't say that. I, I'm not saying that, Vic. Uh, I'm just saying if he has the balls to, to have us on and have a good talk because I have... Would you have a good... Would you, would you have, have a... Have on my hard drive... Everything that Vic has said about me and you that called us big tobacco, I have it all. And, and that's I want him to say, I want him to say in 2022, I'm releasing this light top tank, which is a refillable open vapor system. I want him to say, listen, uh, you know, since you put out this video when nobody knew you in your mom's basement, still nobody knows it. But anyway, you, you have not retracted these statements. This is all I'm going to ask him. Why have you not done that? Why have you not been... Uh, transparent and, and if I'm wrong I will go on the show and I will apologize I'll say Vic I have completely 
mistaking you. I am sorry. I, I'm a bigger man. I am. But I'm going to ask the questions that need to be asked. That's it. That's it. We're still here in 2022, motherfuckers, and we're making open vapor systems. Still, in 2022, me and the old guy over here, me and Phil. How did I get to be the old guy? By the way, <laughs> look, I, does anybody notice? Me, so. Does anybody notice like the difference in skin complexion, dude? Go outside and get a little sun. Like hey, when, I'm working. When, unlike you, unlike you, I work all day. When you, unlike you, when you like when you when you deliver all those things, just stand out, stand out with the box a little bit longer. And Buddy, look up. unlike you, unlike you, you I live you live in Greece. There's all kinds of beaches and all kinds of like islands I work. and stuff all day and have sex all night so i don't have time no, that's true time. I, I, you really do I don't have I, time it's don't amazing time. unbelievable so like i'm just i'm just thinking about like just christy and just the small of her back and just working that watermelon peach the number oh. one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line you put out like a pg-17 or whatever uh, rating on this uh, video yeah, I might have to. What are we gonna call it? The erection decision? What are we gonna what were we gonna call it? It was a good erection name. Erection twenty twenty two. Erection twenty twenty two. I love you that. You need to name. put that in the title of the I love video. That. We're gonna by get the way, thousands of every place. By the way, one more strike and you will see us next time on Rumble, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> don't worry about it. Who cares? I don't care. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. Nobody cares anyway. All right. Listen, uh, that was a fun right. show. That was a fun show. Um now yes. I'm gonna. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you voted too. Because if you're gonna bitch about who got elected and you didn't vote, yeah, you can you know, lick my taint. That was one thing. Like you know, whether you watch conservative shows or progressive shows, uh, like on YouTube, I I feel like all they kept talking about, and even some of the the like news mainstream media. Fuck all of you, by the way, mainstream media, left, right, center. Fuck all of you. You're all. Destroying this country. I truly believe that. Um, all they talked about was the polls, 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 polls. And like very rarely did I hear them say, by the way, the polls don't mean jack or shit unless you go out and vote. Like, I feel like they didn't send that message. They, they kept yeah. talking about the polls and we're going to win and you're going to win and they're going to win and everybody's going to win and red wave and red tide and all this other shit. But they didn't talk about actually going out and voting. And I, I really wished I, I, I wished that was more yeah. of a message than just talking about the polls because the polls yeah. truly don't mean anything unless people go out and vote. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fun uh, show, man. That we're still, did, did, I, did I still mention that we're not employed by Big Tobacco yet? <laughs> Anne Marie is still laughing. Is Anne Marie still Don there? Said. Is she? Yeah. That, that's what Don said. I don't know if Don. Listen, knows her. Um, I, I, I'll send. Um, can I sext her? Not not like sex, like S E X T. You, you sext, but yeah. you, know, you, know, you Oh, sext dude, I can write. Funny story. I can write some good stuff, man. I really can. <laughs> I can. Yeah. I'll, you know, um, just just think uh, of that. Just think of that. Watermelon peach, the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line. I had to get one more. Pete says that he found this very helpful to understanding the election. So we did something <laughs> good. <laughs> we did something good. I think that we, I think we helped. I think we did. Tonight. I think we, we did. Really did. I think we really did. I think we 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 shed some light on the elections. In By the way, way, can I just mention that? Please go that ahead. Here, we have I'll... not been invited. We have not been invited to the FV uh, vape show. We had the guys on. Like, if if you really want to get good content, I mean, look at look at one shot media. You know, look look at One Shot Media. One Shot Media, uh, all their shows are like a thousand views. When me and Phil get on their show, they get like five thousand views. So I just want to just put that out there. We have not been invited to the uh, to the FV uh, Vape Show. That's a or good point. Vi or Vix show. <laughs> In fact, we haven't been invited anywhere because we're old. And uh, but but whatever, it doesn't make any difference. That you know what? That's a really really good point. A hey, uh, Bill, um, block them. Yeah, yeah, don't let them. them. Yeah, ban, ban them. them. Hey, by the way, uh, Flavia Flavia Candiosa behind you. Like, how long does he go for? He's still fucking broadcasting. For the <laughs> what, what did you call him? Flavia Candiosa. What was his name? I don't remember. It's uh, Fruto Trella. Yeah, that's what I said. He's close enough. How okay. long? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's Nutella. My, my What's website, his name? So I can't say anything. Fruit Nutella. What is his name? Fruto Trella. That's what I said. Okay. He Bobby like, is his name. He goes forever. Bobby. He goes, yes, yes, yes. Unbelievable broadcast. It's like a yeah. unbelievable. Well, if he did shots like we we did, you know, he wouldn't be able to go for yeah, that. He'd long. be out. He'd be out. All right, wrap it up. Let's go. So All right, uh, everybody. Uh, we we do appreciate you joining. We hope you had some fun tonight. 
And uh, the the last thing I I, I want to do, Janine, you know I love you. I love I love everybody who. I, I love everybody who watches it's, the show. It's a line of vaping. And, and we appreciate it, but especially uh, Anne-Marie. Uh, one more. One more for me. So. Oh, so okay, creepy. Call, call it creepy. Go ahead. Call it creepy. I'm hiding my daughter real, now real quick. Go ahead. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go ahead. You want my final thoughts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would you, do wait, hold on a AFC. second. Do you want, I would do, you, do things to AFC. Do you need to hold on? I figured, uh, hold on. Let me get the, uh, the right <laughs> you one. You can't be like uh, right on the... Right there we go. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. From current... Oh there we go. Go ahead. You want to... Hold things. on. Would you like to speak directly to her? Go yes, ahead. Listen, go ahead. Go listen, ahead. Alexandria. <laughs> Masita, listen. I would do things to you. You wouldn't be able to kiss your kids the next day. <laughs> like you would. You, would, you wouldn't do it. That's my final thoughts. <laughs> She's she's break she's she's breaking up with her her boyfriend right now. As a matter of fact. She'd she be is. embarrassed to kiss her kids the next she day. Is. She wouldn't, she wouldn't she be is. able to. AOC, I'm, I'm sorry, AOC, but but <laughs> I, but we hope you we hope you appreciate all of the uh, the votes that you're going to get because of tonight's show. <laughs> uh, Pete says we you know I'd love to have you guys. We have to pay because you know he has like we have to pay to get on his show. We have to pay to like, be on the show. Million. He has a screenshot of like oh look at all these million views I have. So we have to pay. Uh, these nuts. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Hold on. Let me find the button before I push the button. I got to push this one. And then where's the other one? Hold on a second. I hey, changed. Next week I changed. I'll be in the States. If you want to do a show, I can do it from there. Okay. All right, me, good. Maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. I got to push that button. Where's the, okay, there it is. Okay. I changed, I changed my layout. Everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you again soon.